the best D&D campaign you'll ever encounter. <clears throat> We're the live stream that gets drunk, talks about D&D, but doesn't play it right. That's right, we burn through drinks, just like a gender reveal party. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and on that note, the I'm thing out. Is, <laughs> The thing with that is it's funny for like a week, and, and now, it, you know, it won't make sense later when you rewatch this, but that's okay. Um, well, let's introduce the Bottle Cap crew. Our first player, his pants is fun, and has been on Team Edward since 2008. It's Taylor Hawker as Togu. That vampire, or the, that werewolf looking dude, man. Yeah, I don't All even know his name. What's, what's the other kid? Well, I wasn't really leaving, I wasn't offended. Edward's, no, Edward's, Edward's the vampire, right? Edward's yeah. Jacob! Oh, from Twilight? Jacob. Jacob, yeah. 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 Got it. The werewolf. Yeah. Wait, what about Twilight? I love Twilight. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are awesome. we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our said... Twilight fan fiction. Oh, Ooh. hey, uh, the DM's DM uh, redeemed hydrate already, so. Oh, shit. Hey. Ah. Right, okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, well, my God. moving right on, if you need proof that there's life on other planets, look no further than our own freaky <laughs> alien, Joe Fritz, as Tax Slash Parrot. <laughs> Mid-drink, gotcha. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> this is the sound we need, to, like, we need to, like, attach to a button and, like, click every once in a while. During the yes. <laughs> and it's, like, painfully That's loud, like, way louder than we are. Yeah. That's, That's our great. sub button. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hell yeah. It's got a really uncomfortable sound, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> our next player sniffs his own farts and categorizes them into sweet, salty, and fatal. It's Sam Gates as Darrow. <laughs> oh, I sniffed my own farts. And thanks to Goblin <laughs> Tour 309 for subscribing. And I bet your farts smell better than mine. Wow. I think yeah. That's probable, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> Sam's farts actually are, are nice and graceful. I've never described a fart as graceful before, but they are. Swimmingly. Um, if you're having a bad day like I am with that anything I say right now, uh, treat yourself <laughs> to something nice. And always remember that at least you don't have to play D&D &D with Miranda Haykilla Palacio as Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> always remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. Well, our last player is just like Brad Pitt, without the looks, the style, and the talent. It's Austin Von Johnson as Erigus. <laughs> Roasted. I mean, I'm sure he has other merits that you have. So. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. You are literally not moving at all. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's like, he's pretty good. It looks good like your making... screen is frozen. <laughs> yeah, he's so good at that. Oh, um, Austin, uh, normally this is the part that I'd move on and I'd ask Taylor to do some important messaging about our marketing. Blink. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's oh going to <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I was like, I was like, double D, like, slow up, hold on. We got some technical difficulties. Austin's really frozen. He's impressive. Wow. Austin, uh, if you could. Yeah. Can you, can can you, you do that, Brad Pitt, you dick? <laughs> Somebody write that quote down. I love doing this online because I get interrupted like nine times, but it's not your guys' fault. I just have to be like, Sorry, Austin. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> hey, uh, Austin, can you just go look outside your front door? Oh, I think I know what's happening. Yep, you better. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, we'll see Yeah, you go, soon. go. Go. go to your front door. Go, go to your front door. Oh, we can talk front. about him now. Yeah, let's go, talk go. about him. Actually, in Double the meantime. D. Double D, say what he's getting. Oh, man. <laughs> Behind door number one. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we've got some fun things in store, and he doesn't know about this, but it actually was Austin's birthday yesterday. So uh, we've surprised him with something outside of his front door. So. It's a lot of dog shit in a paper bag on fire. He's going to love it. <laughs> it's all brutal. of our poop that we gathered together. Have you guys actually done Aww. that? <laughs> what is oh! this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cute. Happy birthday, birthday. cute boy. Happy birthday, birthday boy. <laughs> Happy birthday. 
Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. You remembered my super soft birthday party. <laughs> Get some roses there, cutie. I did. Oh. I did. I got some. I got some new socks that you guys don't think I'm gonna wear, but I will. <laughs> I got a snake Hell in yeah, the socks. Pastel socks. Uh, that's Steve. There's Stevie boy. Sarah's gonna be pissed because I'm not gonna let her wear the socks. <laughs> you I them. love getting new socks. Oh, horsey I got some stickers. horse stickers. <laughs> Those were 89 cents. Hell yeah. I got this little cat with a hat on it. Oh, the, the hat's for you. Please put that hat on. <laughs> Here we go. I hope it breaks and snaps it really hard. Okay. You look, it just, you look like a boo. It just looks like a, yeah, yeah. it looks like a fez. You it do. looks like a little fez on it. <laughs> I got a tutu. That I plan oh, on yeah. using as a loofah. Ooh, uh, <laughs> did you already have that tutu? I thought you loofah. did. Yeah, that was a Lulu. Yeah. Um, this this is actually a little bit lighter shade than the one that I have. Oh, okay. um, the one I have is a little bit more vivid. Uh, still, still kind of rainbow, but yeah. um, this is nice. It's nice because mm -hmm. it'll it'll match my shoes a little bit better. Um, <laughs> got a card. Holy shit balls! Oh yeah, if you, you want to use those tonight, you can. Oh damn, guys! What is Thank it? You or who? It's it, it's uh, it's a oh. new headset. Let's go. Yeah, I might I might give that a shot. We'll see yeah, we'll see how beautiful I sound and put these <laughs> these ear earbuds away. <laughs> and then, hey, we're not that. It's totally uh, uh, invisible, uh, but it's... You have to chug <laughs> it, you have to chug it, you have to you chug have to it. You have to chug it, man, you fucking, you uh, found it, you got hey. ice, bro. You got ice. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we can't really move on because you need him. But in the meantime, yep. uh, Sam, is there uh, any kind of announcements? I feel like a lot of things have happened this week. Um. Well, there's a couple of announcements. Um, one, uh, I, I do you have the, the thing ready to pull up? for the stuff Ooh, the art yeah yeah let's talk about that so yeah, yeah let's talk ahead. about the art um yeah so uh one of our wonderful wonderful friends on the instagrams uh it drew us a, a piece of fan art and um we wanted to share it with everyone that's watching the stream um because we love it now i'm gonna make a an instagram post about it um, tomorrow and link a minute and all that and there's a link down in the description if you're watching on YouTube um, I don't know how to use like twitch or whatever so um, whatever but it's goblins horde dungeons and dragons on on Instagram that's the whole hashtag and they hit us up a few weeks ago um, asking uh, you know to make some art and they they did a killer killer fucking job on this um, this is our first piece of art that we've received first or like worked ever with or whatever and um it's so good it's it's fucking cool uh, uh, uh great to work with they were they were super fun to work with um my one big hope from from this piece of art that was that tack was going to be just yoked to the nines yeah. just fucking bodybuilder-esque <laughs> and yeah you got it uh and if you can see that six pack right Look there he is fucking he, is he lifts Jesus. Yeah, uh, I would also like to call attention to uh, uh, Austin, the uh, town and the our DM character that we got up in the stars. <laughs> uh, if, if you could up. back it out a little bit. Yeah, I got uh, you. Yeah, I, I think he is just, just staring at us enough to make sure that we don't fuck up too bad. But you know, allowing us to fuck up. So yeah. I, I, I don't know, I think uh, <laughs> overall, uh, without a doubt, uh, Goblins Horde, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, go to them on Instas, go to them on the other social medias uh, that are linked on their Instas, and uh, check them out, because they're super cool. Um, they they did a great job, uh, and they are super, super de duper sweet and kind, yeah. and we can't cool. appreciate that kind of shit anymore, so. Yeah, for us, it was kind of a big deal. So yeah. we love you guys, or whoever hits one person or multiple people. Thank you. Very cool. Also, do you want me to talk about the ABU thing, or do you want to do that? 
Uh, that might have to do with what Taylor's doing. Taylor, are you ready okay. to do some things? Oh, Aaron, uh, Austin, uh, is your thing working? Yeah. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. Do I sound really good? You sound mm-hmm. like you're coming you from your fun. phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what it sounds like. I think it sounds good. It sounds. I mean, it sounds fine. Yeah. I. I just didn't. I wasn't Dude, sure what to expect. Do you like the other one better? Where did Taylor go? There Actually, he is. That sounded way better than the other time. That one can wasn't guys, my fault, I swear. Can you guys hear that what car the... alarm? No. Oh, it's not. No. Never mind. Okay, just stop. <laughs> as soon as I said that. Are you hallucinating again? <laughs> <laughs> no, you sound good, Austin. You're good. You're good to go. Who oh, beans? Um, all right. Well, Taylor, take it away. Yeah, I got some getting ready to do. Uh, don't play my music yet. Hold on. Hold on. I wouldn't dare. I didn't just play it, so it's fine. Oh, these are twist offs. Twist off. Does it have a mic that comes down? Nope. Oh, well, maybe... it just it just is. It, I don't know. Is it? Wait, can you can you hear me better? All right, no? can you? Uh, all right, uh, you can go ahead and play the music. <laughs> Keep the box. We're streaming so well case. right now. Um, here okay. we go, guys. Let's do the thing. <laughs> and uh, Taylor, you're on. Sons and daughters of the Bottle Cap Brigade, I am Togu Jessica. <laughs> wait wait oh a God. second. Is it Togu Jessica 10 feet tall? <laughs> yes, I've heard. Kills men by the hundreds. And if I were, and if he were here, he'd consume that berserker with fireballs from his eyes and lightning bolts from his ass. <laughs> I am Togu, and I see a whole brigade of friends here. In defiance of tyranny, you have come to roll as free creatures. And free creatures you are! What will you do without freedom? Will you roll? Uh, roll? Against that? That's what that's what my script says. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> roll and you may die. But if you all decide to run, you may live. At least for a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, you'd you be willing to trade all your days from this day to that? for one chance between one and 20. Just one chance between one and 20 to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our dice, but they will never take our freedom! We will live! (laughs) (laughs) He changed his background just for this. That's smart, that's funny. That's so good. Taylor's at the end or <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm done now. Yeah, that was very good. I just realized that the actual line was uh, I had more there. That was No, it's okay. We're mine. cool. We got it. We got it. <laughs> so we needed it. You get like really close to the camera. I had more lines, but <laughs> <laughs> I rolled with it, we're good. You rolled with it? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance, am I right? Hey! Statistically speaking. Hmm. Right, well, for anyone watching, um, we should play D&D now, if that's cool with you guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Why would you even change, Taylor? Just The outfit was so perfect. Just rock the whole session, man. Dude, dude rock the whole session with my... Oh, shit, I missed some. <laughs> Just leave that. That's a good on. look. Yeah. <laughs> Totally should have kept it on. You should have because Ugh. that should be the thumbnail. It's just you, like, you know, like, oh, so good. Yeah, right on. All right, All right guys. Well, um, oh. without further ado, let's score some bottle caps. Welcome to episode 34 Deep Blue Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
never done it once. I know you did it once. You did it once, right? I had it timed right. My volume was down <laughs> that time. Like, oh, like there's nothing I can do, man. Yeah, no, nothing you tried your I can best. Do. You tried your best. Go in, go in King Mo. Thank, thank you so much for subscribing while we deal yeah. with this. I love you. <laughs> we, we deal with this. All right. Well. Oh man. Let's do uh, Goblin Sword. You didn't have to. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much for subbing. Tier one, oh. you're our first tier one sub. Wow. Let's go. Oh, Love you. You're great. You're great. Sweetie. Oh, I'm gonna make you a plaque. We're gonna hang it up. You can hang it up. Somewhere <laughs> See, that makes a enough. lot of promises. I just want to clarify now. Don't but... fall through on any of them. Yeah. I don't. His his girlfriend loves that about him. Jesus. Something like so... that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that was kind of dark. A lot dark. tighter than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it looks good on you though. Oh yeah. You're also wearing like the perfect shirt too. I, yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. You you have a vibe going. You're and welcome. It's very cheerful. Yeah, thank you. Very cheerful. <laughs> you feel light as air, as if you've never weighed anything in your whole life. Gravity has no pull on your body, a sensation you've truly never felt before. It's pure bliss heavenly in, in some ways and just as quick as it arrives it leaves to follow suit and you are all reminded of a feeling you have felt many times before falling down you go spiraling <laughs> yeah, through this <laughs> i know taylor would like that <laughs> falling down you go spiraling through the circular green portal that the vampire aether Ooh. had just sent you into you fall for a moment and you hit a wooden platform of some sort. Upon pushing yourself to your feet, you see the sights and the sounds of the ocean, the seagulls that circle around you, and the endless water that stretches around. You are at sea on a large deserted pirate ship with no land in sight. Can everyone make a perception roll? This is the earliest we've ever rolled in this campaign. So I know! <laughs> I gotta get all my dice out. I, I thought this was gonna take like 30 minutes. He thought he had an hour at least. Did you say perception? 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys better have your beers open, because I mad it. First yeah! one in the day. 20? First one in the day. 20 or not one? I'm at 20 because otherwise it's I wouldn't be It's the new smiling. body. Because otherwise you'd lie about it. I usually do. No. No, I actually, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever lied about rolling the wrong number. Oh, man. Not in this campaign. I never, uh, ever, ever have. Yeah, me neither. Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, Tack, what'd you get, brother? Uh, three. Darrow. Uh, for perception, right? Yes. Um, I got a 16. How's that printout of your character sheet on the wall working out for you? It, it's it's right here, but I got scared. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, Aragis. I got a seven. Okay, Toku. Um, which I believe. I got a 17. Okay, Toku. Uh, which I believe you're still in a uh, you're currently in a in a weasel man body. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yes, I am. And I talk like this, but also I have oh, a breath shit, thing because I, I tried to fuck it. Because <laughs> I tried to fix it and get rid of it, and it didn't work. And now I've got this <laughs> and that. <laughs> yeah, both. Um, yeah. So you made it worse for yourself. So here's the deal. Uh, everyone is, stands up and, and, and looks around. And um, you guys all take in the sights that I've explained. You're on this, like, deserted pirate ship. It's clearly deserted with some, you know, some kind of pirate-esque fla um, flags, um, but it's it's barren, and it seems like it's been here a while. Um, and you, and you alone, smell rotting flesh in the air. Guys, how long has this boat been out here, you think? <laughs> um, I, I don't know, it looks it looks really old. 
you guys think that uh, you think that's anybody here? Huh? <laughs> Should we go look? <laughs> yeah, let's look. What's the ground like? Yeah, so it is it is a wooden ship. Um, it's it's pretty big. Like it would crew probably forty people. Um, and uh, it, it seems pretty beat up. That some of the wooden um, slats are are kind of broken, so you can kind of see into the lower level. Um, and there uh, on on each side of the ship. I'll hold on. I know this. Um, the uh, mm. <laughs> I want to remember just off memory without looking at my notes. Okay, the stern <laughs> and the bow. The bow. Uh, bow. The bow. 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 Side. The bow side. Um. So it, and they they're like raised levels, um, like stairs that go up, right? Okay. Yeah. The front and back of the ship. And, uh, yeah, and it, it seems pretty beat up. Um, Togu, you do feel like weirdly drawn. Uh, the smell, at least, seems to be over the side of the ship. Like it seems to be uh, Ara off the side. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of slowly make my way over to that side of the boat and look into the water, follow my nose. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying anything about the smell yet. Okay, you just walk over there, um, and you looking down at the water. Um, you see uh, probably like twenty ish um, dead sailors just floating around the ship, and as you look at all of them, you see one um, that is like quickly like taken uh, underwater by a shark and disappears again. Uh, Eridris, would yeah. you come take a would you come take a look at this, please? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Um, and I walk over and I take a look. Yeah, and you see the same thing. I mean, now nineteen sailors corpses. So, uh, so, so literally, there was twenty, and then a shot came up and ate one of the bodies. Sounds about right. There's a bunch of dead bodies in the ocean. Sharks do that. But if they, uh, but if they're dead bodies in the ocean, did they die on on the boat or did they die in the ocean? Um, you know, I, there's there's a lot about this situation. I I have no idea how to explain. You know, we just a moment ago we we weren't here. Um, so I guess. Uh, Holy crap! I, guess I wouldn't I forgot. be surprised by anything. Yeah, yeah, we got. Yeah. Oh. Did, was you, uh, you, what? What about the, the 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 coyote? The coyote girl was she? Does anybody see her? You guys look around the ship, um, and over in the corner, you do see the body of Kaya, um, with a, a a some sort of grotesque arm piercing through her chest. Um, I, I, I want to run over and see if she needs help. Okay. Um, you go over to her body, um, and you, you, you know, you, you look at her and you, you see that she seems not moving. Um, and upon touching her body, she does seem like as if she's, uh, quite cold. Um, and, uh, you feel maybe her pulse and you don't feel a pulse at all. Um, to you, she, she seems deceased. While he's doing that, do I have my disc, or do I need to summon it? You do not have your disc. I believe that, that uh, yeah, gone a while ago. I, I'd like to spend some time summoning it. Also, do do I have Ong, or? You're familiar? If it was yeah. on you, it would have gone through the portal as well, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, I want to summon Tensors, if I can. Is that a ritual? Does that take a while? Yeah, it takes ten minutes, I think. Okay, so you're focused on that. Um, uh, Joe, uh, go ahead. Oh, oh, uh, you you can do do it first. <laughs> okay, uh, Jovi's at the front of the ship, just like meditating and trying to um, switch out spells. <coughs> so I'm just chilling, trancing. Uh, no, damn it! 
Um, I don't think she made it, you guys. Referring to Kaya. Um, I, I want to take a closer look at the uh, at the arm protruding. Yeah. Um, as you actually do an investigation roll. Uh, that's a good old seventeen. Okay. Um. Okay, so looking at this, uh, you, you start to look at it, and it seems like an like an animal arm. It's weird because when you look at the other side that went through, because it's completely through her, the hand seems to have like claws, almost like a wolf. Um, the other part of the forearm that you can see on the front side of her body um, has feathers, and it's very strange. Um, but as you look at it, you watch as it slowly changes into a, a tiefling hand or arm. This is, this is, so, uh, is it still in her? It is. Just the arm. Okay. Um, can I... I want to pull it out. Gross. It's everything that you'd imagine would happen. Cool. Um, I pull it out, and um, I turn back to the rest of the brigade. I'm like, um, you guys, uh, Tuyuya's hand changed back. It's kind of weird. A what? Yeah, I remember. Remember, because she was, um, she was that weird beast thing, and it was a just an odd amalgamation of all sorts of animals and shit. I don't know. Wait, but it's, but how how's but, how's Kaya? Oh no, I said she's dead. She yeah, she didn't make it. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, it's uh, you know, there's there's been a lot to process lately, um, and. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think we can always remember the you know what she did for us. Um, I don't know. Anyways, um, maybe we should just hold on to this, and, and I toss it onto the floor, onto the floor, um, like you know, until uh, until we get back to Southern. And then I, I uh, walk, I walk back over to my corner. Okay. Um, and I did forget to clarify. Um, it, so it is like nine a.m. at this point. I believe you guys were up all night. Um, so you do yeah. feel quite fatigued. Also, we don't um, rest. There, no, who needs rest? Uh, there are um, on both the the stern, the back of the ship, and. Um, the bow, the front. Uh, there are doors um, that seem to go it within the ship somewhere. Uh, is the ship moving, or are we anchored? Um, have a look. Okay. Well, you look, and uh, off one side of it, you do see a chain that is going into the water. Okay. Um, are the are the sails down, or is everything like put away? anchored up like it's been here for a while um so it has a mast but the actual sail itself is tattered and destroyed like destroyed destroyed it's it, it wouldn't move the ship but everyone yeah. hydrate uh, hydrate, <laughs> hydrate. <laughs> boing uh i want to i want to walk over to eridris and just kind of put my hand on her shoulder for a second um, and then I want to make my way. You said there's a door on the front and there's a door on the bow and the stern of the boat. Yes. Is the wheel on the bow or the stern? It is on the, the <laughs> bow. It's on the front. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to go to the door that is by the bow. Okay. And then, um, I want to ask, uh, a, um, Jolie, do you want to go see if there's anybody, I don't know, still alive down here? I am all out of spells. I need to, I need to rest, truly. Um, I'll go down with you real quick, but I need to come back. Well, if you need to rest, meditate. you can rest. Does, uh, does anybody else want to go? I think, uh, I think we should probably go before we rest, see what else is on this boat. 
Am I done concentrating on my spell? Sure. <laughs> you summon a disc. It's brilliant <laughs> and amazing. It is a yeah. compact disc. Shiny I, and full I'd like of to data. actually <laughs> I'd like to get on on my disc, uh, and I'd just like to say to Togu, push me, Togu, push me. <laughs> I just want to slowly look back at air, just be like <laughs> and then I'll and I'll just I guess slowly push him. <laughs> Wee Guys, I'm gonna stay up here. Just let me know if you see anything. Okay. I'll go I wanna try to take back. a nap. Uh double D, I have a couple questions. Yeah. Uh do I am I still dying? Like Am I still right, let me ask, am I am I am I still undead? <laughs> You are in a short-term container for your soul, indeed. And yes, you will always it's, it's, be undead. This this one is short-term as well. Tupperware. It didn't work. Yeah. Well, uh, I believe in it. I believe that the, that the man um, told you guys, uh, Ivan, told you that it, it that you had maybe a couple days. Okay. Oh shit. But yeah, um, haven't you ever seen Full Metal Alchemist? What the hell? <laughs> Suit of armor, bro. Um, yeah, you're in a weasel body. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, and maybe I just missed it. I don't. Is the same rules apply to rest in the weasel body? Oh, um, indeed. You are okay, a ghoul in a sense. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, sweet. I want to push Daro towards the the door on the bow. You want to push it? Okay. Yeah, he's just like, ah! <laughs> just spinning around on this thing. Um, yeah. And I'm going to try to take a nap. Okay. Eridus would like to nap on the dick. And, on uh, the dick! On the... <laughs> you I got a nice that. deck. Yeah. <laughs> I take care of my deck. Um, <laughs> so... Your deck is so hard. <laughs> Thank you. I work on it every night and day. Shine it, <laughs> oil it, take care of it, <laughs> bathe it, ensure that it maintains quality. Moving on. Um, Daryl, Clean you... enough to eat off of. Hello! Uh, <laughs> Darrow, you continue to float on your combat, compact disc. And uh, <laughs> you like float, you know, you float over to that door in the back and you hit it um, and the door just opens a little bit like ee! Sounds like a fart every time I do doors. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what the door sounds like. That's a good one. <laughs> so, do you see anything? Do I? <laughs> okay, so you look inside the door. Um, yes, so you see a room that seems to have some sort of light coming in from it. Uh, how far away is it? You can't see the light, but I was, <laughs> but you can tell it's not a massive room. Your disc certainly won't fit through the door. Okay. Uh, like, would it would it fit if it was like if I? I think there's no way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, Togu, would you like to go through that door up there to see what's in it? Uh, sure. Sam will get off his desk. I do not want to move. Just yet. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly slide the door open all the way if it's not already, and then just take a look at the room for what I see. Yeah. And I, is... I'd like to send Ong in, kind of like perched on his shoulder, if I could too. Yeah. Great. Is this door? Uh, this is the back of the ship, right? The stern. The bow. Oh, you're on the bow. Okay, so I went. I went to where I went to where the wheel was, wherever the wheel, wherever the steering wheel is. Perfect. I go to the door by the steering wheel. So you you open this door slowly um, with this bird perched on your shoulder, and yeah, you see this room. Um, I don't think I can describe this. It's clearly some sort of captain's quarters. Um, it has an old. But nice bed. 
and at the on the right side in the back or really the the, the front of the whole boat uh, there are some nice like glass uh, you know tinted windows we'll call them that and uh, but it's also a desk um, and that's where the light is coming from this candle that seems to be like you know melting all over the place very little left to the wick and uh, yeah that's all you can see from from where you're at is there is there anything interesting in there, Togu? It, it looks like the captain's quarters, uh, but there's a there's a candle that's lit. A lit candle, you say? I I, I want to get off my uh, desk and walk into the room and just say, let's see if there's anything of value in here. Hmm. Okay, so Daryl and Togu uh, are going into the room. Um, so you guys walk into this room. And uh, make a perception roll. I love how hard you're <laughs> articulating. Let's go. And deck. They're very important, <laughs> you know, like your disc what, and you. What deck. happened, Taylor? I nat twenty again. Mm, Woo! Swear wow. to God. I Everybody swear hydrate. To God. Hydrate yourself. <laughs> He's so perceptive. He's hydrate. He's the most perceptive guy I know. He, he can smell and look at things. I don't know if this What's is working. That? Is it working? <laughs> sort of. Right look at all those dice. It that looks. One. Yeah. Okay. One of those. <laughs> it's uh, that one I'm you have so many D six out. <laughs> it's all my inspiration dice. Unlimited D six. <laughs> I mean, I think I have team. like three of them. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank so you, Terpinek, for following us. Also, the the other three that I missed, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to play D and D, and I can't. It's here. <laughs> hey, you're doing your best. Love you're doing your best. We just have everyone hydrate, though. Thank hydrate. you, NPD. Love you guys. That's a lot of hydrates. This is gonna this is gonna be a short night, not a long night. You're gonna be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, what this yes, means is water. how many times you guys hit hydrate is more likely that I'm going to have to rewatch this episode. Like we all did last like, week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, shit. So just make that really clear that we drink on this uh, show. Yeah. Um, we do. And you'll know because it gets worse. So enjoy it while it's good. <laughs> um, Togu and Darrow. Uh, you guys uh, open the door more oh, and walk dude. into this room. It, it's kind of musky, like like there's been smoke recently. Um, you do look over to the desk and you do see a pipe um, that's still burning. And um, it's, it's someone had clearly smoked in there recently out of their pipe. Um, it has a very strong tobacco feel. And the bed seems old, unused. There's dust all over the place. Um, however... You do see on the desk um, a couple things. There are two drawers on this desk. And on top of it does seem to be some sort of nice uh, curved sword in its sheath. Uh, I want to grab the sword. Togu, just, Togu. Just lift it. Before you grab that sword, before you grab it, would you like me to see if it's magical, if it might fuck you up? Because I want to make sure it doesn't fuck you up. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I'm... Yeah, go for it. Can I detect magic on it? Let's do this. Uh, Togu and Darrow. <laughs> uh, Did my internet freeze or... No. No. Uh, why don't you guys... No, you, each... just fuck, you, just, you just really fucked Austin's plan. Why don't you guys... No, I mean, no. You didn't fuck anything up. You guys are both going to make an initiative roll because there were things okay. that were said. Oh, shit. Uh, 11. Not 20 again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I'm at one. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Just as good. <laughs> but, uh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I not one it. So... There you go. All right. Um, well, people at home, uh, when we now anything we drink, so which we just did. So drink, take it, take a sip. Um, 
Okay, Togu, you basically walk in the room, you see this sword, you're like, oh my god, like, you're excited about it, and the first thing is you, like, trip on this knot on one of the wo wooden pieces, and you fall, and you, like, hit your head on the corner of the desk, and you just fall to the sure. ground. Oh! And you just see him, like, not moving on the ground, Daryl. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'd like to pull out my candle, um... And, and pop it open. Like my <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> and say, oh man, this candle smells so good. It's if you go to a few com, you can smell something that smells so fucking good. I'd like to waft it around. Wafting. Underneath. Oh, wafting. I was so Do I wake up? Do I wake um, up? I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, you, 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 you blocked out for like two seconds. Uh, and I, I was gonna wake you up regardless of the candle, but um, <laughs> you <laughs> you are gonna take three damage, um, and you have a okay. pretty nasty scar like the middle of your forehead. It just goes like that into your eyebrow. Um, you you I mean you you gash yourself pretty good on that on that desk corner. Oh, oh! But you're okay. You smelled the candle, right? That oh. fixed you. It fixed me? It should have. How's it look? Did it not? You look fine. You look just fine. You're not bleeding, are you? Then you're fine. Yeah, he's bleeding. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yes, <horrible>. I am <laughs> bleeding. It's like everywhere. Apparently I'm hands, bleeding. When you looked at your hands just now, it was blood. <laughs> back okay. I'm glad you said that because I held it. I was like, is there blood? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, it's I, I'd bad. Like, I'd like to I'll just my cast hand. prestidigitation to make it look like not blood <laughs> on oh his God. hands. Okay. Don't you have cure wounds? What? No. <laughs> no. He can only. Trick. No, I don't. He can't help. <laughs> so does he make a wisdom saving, or what's the plan here? This... Oh no! I well, prestidigitation. I mean, I think it just works. You know. I like how Miranda looks right now, though. Like her frozen self is awesome. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah. no! Uh, Miranda's I... computer just shut off randomly. So. Okay, so wait, oh, uh, Sam, if you lean over to your left, yeah, and Taylor to your right, you guys can both be Darrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do it like this. That is really cool. <laughs> you this way. Um, yeah, you're right a little there. too far. A little less. A little le yeah, there, uh, a little bit more, a little bit to your left. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that's you guys oh, that's for the next cute. couple minutes. Um, cool. and then so I cast press uh, press I digitation, and I on bed. I just want to clean. I want to clean <laughs> his hands. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't. I'm trying to be Darrow. It's not working. I know. I can tell. <laughs> 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 Taylor, if you scoot all the way to the other side, you're Togu again. Oh, that's the other option that's better, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. Yeah, yeah, you should scoot <laughs> the other way. Yeah, what you're doing is good. Don't move. Um, I'm going to look up a rule so everybody at home can drink. Hey! Um, we haven't drank enough already. That was fine, I'm good. <laughs> What are you oh, looking man. at? Prestidigitation? You can make a color or a mark or a symbol appear on a surface. Yeah, I can clean or soil an object no larger totally. than one cubic foot. Togu, your hands are clean. This is like the guy that <laughs> is being, someone's pouring a shampoo on his head, and every time yep. he washes it out, there's no <laughs> shampoo. <laughs> so you, you are bleeding constantly down your face, but every time you feel liquid, you go to your hands, and there's nothing there, and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I, I'd just be like, what is going, <sighs> what is happening? I can't see. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so you're fine. Um, and in, <laughs> and between like the blood that you can't seem to grasp that's going over your face and eyes, um, you guys just still notice that there's this sword on this desk and there's two drawers in this desk. It seems, it seems like mysterious to you guys. Oh yeah, there's a sword in here. What? 
can I just walk over? Can I also detect magic on that sword? Sure. Okay. Is it magical? Mm. <laughs> well, here's the deal. This is what's fun, is if I put a sword in the room, everyone freaks out like it's going to kill them. I don't like it. <laughs> it's just going to talk Dude. to you sexually. You is, it literally, is, a... it, is it Chushkovsky? Is that... Who, who's the rule with the, the gun on the stage? Oh, I don't remember the rule, but it's... Is it Tchaikovsky? It might be. I don't remember. If you see it in the first act, you gotta shoot it in the third, or something like that. Uh-huh. Exactly. That's why we all go for the sword, Austin. No, fair enough. Um, Darrow, it it's seems like nature. very extremely magical. Okay, uh, I want to... Uh, send Ong, I want to telepathically tell Ong to go uh, touch it first and let me know if it talks to it or tells it to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, thank yes. you, Tausident, for following us. Yeah, Tausident. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, man. You're the best. Or woman. <laughs> Whoever you are. Uh, Darrow, your uh, bird like familiar goes over there and touches it. Um, and it's like, pecking at this thing and grabs it with, you know, with one of its talons and uh yeah it, i mean it just it's just like a, a sword it's just like well okay cool nothing happens does ong does ong tell me anything about it um oh you just want me to talk in ong's voice um yeah <clears throat> nothing, ain't nothing wrong great uh i i'd like to grab it um and and look it over and and just look at togu and say togu would would this sword be of benefit to you? Would you use this? Um, Tokyo. Uh, yeah. You look. Oh my God! Wait, are things happening? Hey, Runa! Hey. I'm back. <laughs> hey. That was I so gotta... weird. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that is so weird. Oh. I don't oh my know. God! My thing <laughs> fell over. Did you guys see that? <laughs> uh. Oh, like, was that the green screen? Yeah, that scared the crap out of me, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost it's in the, the system. sword. No one touched the sword. I've never experienced that in my life. That was so scary. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't even work anymore. Look, Did it hit you? This is a production failure night. That's what this is. <laughs> or uh, an opportunity to succeed. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching our stream tonight. Uh, for anyone at home that might be watching this subsequently, uh, I'll put on some um, technical issue music for this few moments of technical yes. issue that we're experiencing. Uh, but also, if you're in Boise, Idaho, go to ABU Games. Um, they are very nice. Also, look at that little plushie that Austin got for his birthday. It is hey, amazing. <laughs> Hey, Double this D, is, we can't this even is what tell. what just looked like. Yeah, it looks great. I wish great. my awesome. eyes could do that, could, like, get that big and, like, <laughs> cute looking. Ah. Okay. I may have just duct taped the whole green screen. We're going to move on. <laughs> We're doing really good. Something broke, so we'll just not talk about it. Um, I'm now going to move you guys so that Miranda is not Togu. Thank you. Um, or do you want me? Or do you want me just to? Or do you want me just to log out real quick? No, 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 no. <laughs> do not do that. Yeah, no, we can turn off our video. I'm really good at doing it. I can just stop video and then I'm back. Um, at this point, that would suck. So please don't do that. Okay. <laughs> oh man. How Nothing many hours might... is a long rest? Four. Forty-three. Or well, four-ish, right? Like I, I, I think it's four. To get partially long rested, I ha I'd have so to. So like, so like a, so know. like a short rest. A short rest is like what? An that's hour? like t tw no, that's like twenty minutes or some shit. Okay. I'd have to look in the player's handbook. Okay, I don't I'll know. actually right. look right now too. All right, we're back. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, Toku. Yeah. You look over at Darrow, and, and Darrow, what question did you ask him? Uh, do you, Dara, or, uh, Togu, would you, would you like this sword? I, I, I don't have much use for swords unless they boost my magical ability. I don't know if this one will, but, uh, do you need a new weapon other than your corkscrew, or? You're literally hearing that voice 
except you're hearing it from the body of a, a Kotoa, which is a fish-like humanoid. Hell uh, yeah. Uh, so did Daro just turn into a fish humanoid? Yes. Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh... No, I'm good. No, uh, you you can you can keep you can keep uh, swords all yours. Do I know? I'm that just gonna I'm go a fish. <laughs> I don't think at the moment. No. Okay. Are are you are you sure? Because literally, I just I cast spells and float around on a desk. I I really have no need for a sword. No, no, and, and I, I totally get it, but uh, I've got I've got church key here. Uh, so no, you you go ahead and you 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 uh, you you keep that sword. I'm gonna take a look at this uh, this little smoking pipe over here, and I'd like to inspect the pipe. Okay, it seems like a kind of nice pipe. Um, it's definitely not corn cob. Okay, I mean this is a nice wooden uh, pipe, you know, and um, seems to have some sort of ivory for. Uh, the mouthpiece, if we call it that, and it's it's cool. it's in good condition. Uh, I want to pick up the the pipe, um, and I want to like do the classes like where you like pound the pipe into the hand to get all the tobacco out. Yeah, and then I want to smell it to see if I can recognize see if I can recognize the smell or if I recognize that type of tobacco. Yeah, you you know you smack against your hand. Some of it it was still burnt as it was smoking. Like hits your hand like. Ow, ow, ow. But then you like come back to finish off the rest of it, um, and you smell yeah. it. And it seems like it's it's aged well. A lot of tobacco has passed through this pipe, and it's definitely been well broken in. Okay, cool. Um, is it's there like, any? To- go ahead. Go ahead. I was. Is there any tobacco on the table? Um. Yeah. I mean, there's like little bits. Or. or, or yeah. Or if is there a drawer uh, on that table that I can look through to see if I can find more tobacco? There are two drawers. Oh, it's on that same <laughs> desk? I thought it was on the bedside table. No, on the desk. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll open one of those drawers. Then. Right or left? Are they the same drawer? They look like, similar. They look the Just same. one's on the right and one's the left. Let's let fate decide. I'm going to go with the one on the right. Okay. So you start to open this drawer. And you get about halfway opening it, and you just see something like move inside, and it freaks you out. You're like, ah! And you go to close it, and with that, we're gonna go to break. Guys, we will see you <laughs> very soon. That's my favorite thing to do to you guys and the players. And uh, see you in five. Appreciate you. See ya. Love you. Okay, go to Goblin Short Dungeons and Dragons Instagram.
Hey guys, we're back, uh, and hopefully we've solved all of our production issues, which is kind of me jinxing it and forcing it to happen once again. But before I talk anymore and make more of an ass of myself, Miranda, take it away. Hey everybody, um, ABU Games, it's in Boise. It is a gaming store that has miniatures and dice and all sorts of tabletop gaming and it has a big room where sometimes they used to, I don't know about now, but they used to host fight gaming tournaments and mm. like weekly Magic the Gathering meetups. You yep. can rent their table. Like it's a really cool big venue. So if you ever need access to, you know, maybe playing some games and stuff, you might want to check them out. And they also host, uh, uh, oh, what's the big bad Santa? Uh, Krampus Con. They also host cons. At least oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So COVID maybe kind of fucking some shit up now, truly. They are kind of, they're a one-stop shop for all things gaming. Um, so definitely check them out and make sure you're registered to vote and have requested uh, a mail-in ballot. Ballot, Yes, vote, vote, vote. Nice, solid plug. <laughs> I forgot about that entirely. That's something that we should do too. Yeah, cheers. Go vote, voter die. Vote. Yeah, get registered. Um, I just want to clarify that when my green screen fell, it fell against, like, my butt. And so I Scary. thought that mm -hmm. in a building that there should not be anyone, that someone was just standing uh... behind me, poking my ass. And I was like... <laughs> a little ghost, like... Ooh. It was a very slow turnaround <laughs> to discover something maybe just as scary. Anyway. Um... Togu, you are talking to Darrow, who is now this fish person, and after just moving on from not taking the sword, you reached into this drawer, and at first you pulled this thing out, and you saw a movement, and it freaked you out, and you closed it, um, and you kind of like shrieked like a girl, like, like ah! and then you uh, close it, and you start to open it again, and you realize that it was just the air moving uh, this parchment or this paper that was in there. Cool. I'm going to grab the parchment. <laughs> Taylor's always like, I love when you make me do things I didn't say that I did. Uh, no, and... no. That's, I, saw, I thought you were going to continue going because I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab the paper. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, grabbed you, the paper. You open this drawer and um, you just see this paper. And upon further examination, um, you just see this text that says, sorry, father. I can't have you get in the way. We're too close to finality. And it says signed Aether. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I'd like to turn to him really seriously and just say, Did did you find anything? Did, what what did you find, Togu? I'd like to do, are my feet uh... like normal how am I walking? Yeah, man. I mean, you are a, a fish person. I don't know how to describe this. Um, is it like my though. my legs are normal or? What's like SpongeBob suit? <laughs> like a murloc? Oh yeah, is that what you call that? Like a uh, murloc? Mur yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. I, I just like to. I'd like to walk up to him and just say, eh, eh, "What did you, you like find? Is it, yeah. is it serious?" Um. I think you should look in a mirror, bud. Why? Breath what's, what's going on? Uh, so I don't really need that sword because I saw what it did to you. So uh, look here, look in, look in, look in the, look in the window here. You can see yourself a little bit. You go see? and you look through this stained blue glass, um, and. As you're staring through it, you do, like, you're staring and you're, and you're confused at first, Darrow, because you can't see a reflection. Uh, but then you realize that you are seeing a reflection, and it is actually a giant fish person. That's what you I'd are like now. to not react at all. I, I don't. I don't care. I, I'd just like to turn to Togu and say, uh, Togu, it seems that I'm a fish person now. Um... <laughs> That when he's <laughs> when he's facing the window, I want to put the note in my pocket. Ooh, yeah. Let's do sleight of hand versus perception. Uh, Ooh. seventeen. <laughs> Definitely not a seventeen. 
you like watch me like oh shit and try and like stuff it into his <laughs> pocket i mean you see the whole thing and then him like looking like are you what are you trying to hide from me togu i thought we talked about this i just i want to pull it out and be like i thought air i thought i thought air just should see it first 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 i thought air would just sit here there it is there it is is it something particular to Idris's interests, or? Hand in the letter. Yeah, and you right, see I just read thing. it. Yep. I say, oh yeah, uh, I I guess I didn't really care too much. If if you want to give the a Idris seems to, um, what do you say? Uh, hate me. So uh, if you want to give it to him, I, I I think that would be best. I I think he I, would. I not take I, it I don't know. I, I bet if you gave it to him right now, it would probably be fine. Do you think it would be funny because I'm a fish person? <laughs> I, it, it might seem a little fishy. Okay, all right. I, I guess. <laughs> Funnily enough, too, nah. in real life, I just ate tuna casserole for dinner. So, um, <laughs> uh, I, I just like to say, okay, I, I got this. I got this. I, I got a good idea. Just back me up if he gets pissed, okay? Um, okay, and, I'm, I'm right behind it. And then I'd like to bust open, like I'd like to kick open the door back okay. out to the, to the All deck. All right, we'll come back to you guys. Um, Eridris, you went and took a nap. And Tack and Jolie, you just watch as Togu and Darrow just like slowly go through this door and enter into this, <laughs> this room. I, I was uh, up on the front of the boat meditating. I need to... I really want to get some spells back, so I'm trying to long rest. <laughs> You're trying to long rest. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tack, what are you up to? That's the only way I could get spells, and I'm yeah, scared that we're going to like hit a Kraken or something, and you're going to fucking yeah. kill me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... let that happen. <laughs> I'm going to um, turn to Airdress. And Jolie, and just go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go peek in the back real quick. Okay, Wish cool. me luck, and I'm gonna go ah. head off to the back. Okay. Go. That's what I do. Okay. Yeah. Air just basically ignores you in his meditative uh, slash sleeping state, and Jolie doing a similar vibe, but is much more cordial uh, with being interrupted. And Tech, you just do your really, really well built green body self waddle over to the uh, the back door, as they say. <laughs> and um, thanks for laughing. Uh, and you're. <laughs> that oh, I was, laugh I was laughing at Joe. I was laughing at Joe. Damn it! It's never me. Um, Tech, <laughs> you uh, you reach the stern of the ship um there obvious there is the option to to take the stairs the up howard to stern. That's what we the, said. the howard stern of the <laughs> we said that uh, go to the howard <laughs> yeah uh but the, from when you're walking over there was really nothing up there um and then there is the door that you were mentioning that is on the same level as you and, and that sounds like the door you'd like to go into yes um you open that door and it's just stairs and the stairs go down they just take a right turn and then the stairs continue down you know coming towards you Right, so it's just a full turnaround. Okay, I'm gonna look back. Um, <laughs> sorry, one of the comments in Twitch said, "Tax muscles squeak as he shuffles." Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Yo, best Twitch comment yet. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna turn back to them and yell, "There's, there's some stairs, and I don't know where they go, so." If you don't see me for a little while, come check on me. <laughs> and then I go down yeah. the stairs. Okay. Yeah, you hear no response from the two meditating slash sleeping people. <laughs> yeah. How how asleep am I at this point? Oh uh, man, I think you're out. You're totally cool. out. Yeah, Lighter I need to get a solid like six hours. You guys <laughs> so are up all night. Like you're feeling weird. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> and that that should kind of. It implies some things to you, Toku, where you watch him turn to a fish person and you're like so <laughs> bitterly tired that reality is kind of confusing. Anyway, um, Tech, you start going down these these steps. Um, and it's very dark, uh, very mysterious. 
and you head down these steps, and it, it, there are no lights whatsoever. However, you're a goblin, so you're exceptionally good, I'll say that, at seeing in the dark. And very quickly, it's like your eyes just adjust. Yeah, I eat carrots, and I have... You, good you eat so eyesight. many fucking carrots, dog. I mean, you are like... You're fucking Roger Rabbit over here, bro. I mean, you're just killing. <laughs> and thank you, Taylor, once again. Laughing at not me and Tack. And, uh... Tack, no, that was, I was laughing. The Roger Rabbit one was funny. Yes! All right, so... That was all you uh, did. That was all you <laughs> Tack, you go down these stairs, and you see a big open kind of like... I'm going to call it a galley. And oh. it's, it's this open cool. room with beams holding, it, you know, every, the, the ceiling up. Um, but around you are just various barrels, um, a lot of like <laughs> shadows as like light kind of like passes through as the ship rocks back and forth. Um, and you just see lines of light coming through the, the you know, the, between the pieces of wood from the ceiling. And little like can like uh, candle holders that are hanging off chains, but they're not uh, lit. Um, and on the very back of the room is just a wall. There's no door or additional doorway. Um, and you do see some kind of, like, large, heavy things on the side of the wall. What would you like to do? Um, yeah, I'd like to creep along the side of the wall with Sailor's Remorse drawn and try and investigate all sorts of things. Okay, let's do an investigation roll. <laughs> Handy. Thank you, Strahd Hop, for following us. I love you. <clears throat> love you. Eleven. All right. Um, all right. So you uh, do you like when I roll things? Uh, I think it's fun. Um, so hey, it scares me. You are walking along this this wall, and you have like your sword drawn. You're like, <laughs> you're, like walking along the side of this wall. And um, I'm gonna say this: you bump into something that that seems like really, really like hard, um, and it surprises you, like it freaks you out. I hope it's not ah! Jack. You turn and face it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look at, ah! <laughs> with your with your sword out, um, and you blink a couple times as you look with you with your um, night vision and dark vision, and you, you just see that it's clearly a, a metal cannon. That is pointing out uh, through one of the... It's, it's a closed window, yeah. but um, could be opened for a cannon hole. We'll call them cannon holes. That sounds fun. Sexy. Show you my cannon hole. Um, <laughs> all right. First time. <laughs> <laughs> On stream, it will be the first time. <laughs> I was going to write that down really quick. Yeah, I'll show you my cannon hole. <laughs> Can that be an Instagram yes, post? Please? Yes, yes. Joe's like, I fucking killed that bit. Um, <laughs> Planned in. <laughs> paid actor. <laughs> no, my girlfriend's coming over later, so. Uh, yeah. What is Damn his it. name, by the way? Uh, oh, Dad. <laughs> no, so. Um, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> from dating my dad uh, <laughs> I'm going to cannon. yeah there's a cannon I actually was just writing down that there's a cannon I wasn't <laughs> writing down my in own my joke. notes <laughs> today there was a cannon yeah dude there's a cannon um, and then you look over the rest of the room um, yeah I just want to kind of give a scan and, take it and all in see, yeah and, and you see uh, several empty barrels uh, but you also see another cannon on the other side. Um, both of the, the cannon holes are closed, and so um, must be open for a cannon to operate. Um, yeah. But many empty barrels. But you do see that something is, like, uh, clearly filling one um, barrel. Um, however, yeah. on, on, the, on the left side of each cannon is a pile of cannon balls. I'm going to say there's about six on each side. So 12 total in the room. Yeah. Um, the cannon I'm next to, I'd like to try and open the window. Yeah. Um, 
Do an athletics roll. Oh, good thing I'm so yoked. So fucking built, dude. Nat 20. Oh, I the shit. <laughs> you want to watch me open a window? Drink. Yeah, I can open a window. Get a drink. I was Lean nat 20 for the, the stupidest stuff. Touch it. <laughs> um, yeah, man. I mean, it, it's literally like you just like put one finger to it. You're like, and you just like move this window open. That's usually quite jammed and difficult. Spit on my finger first. <laughs> yeah. It's it's uncomfortable. Yeah, you lubed mm -hmm. it beforehand perfectly. The cannon hole. Um, fantastic. I would like to move to the other uh hole and open that window as well. Yeah, at this point, man, it. I was just gonna make funny of you failed, but yeah, you just open a window. It's not a big deal. Cool. Uh, yeah, and that's <laughs> one of the first ones. So I get it if you're scared. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm frightened of how well you'll open the next window. <laughs> Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. We roll to open windows. <laughs> and then that twenty. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and then I want. I like to go investigate the barrel full of stuff, which I'm thinking will be some sort of explosive powder. <laughs> you approach this barrel eagerly excited to see what's inside it and as you get closer to this thing you look inside and you see an entire barrel filled of rotting apples literally one rotting maggot like, pops out and looks at you and you just see this maggot for a second and it's like it's like you guys have like this this connection okay well i look at the maggot in the eyes and i say mm, carry on like, um. <laughs> it actually, for a second, I want to see that as an illustration. Yes, that needs to be. Please, someone, very any, precious. any fans yeah. that are like good at you know like things like art and shit, create that moment. Looking into a maggot's eyes coming out of an apple. Um, tech, gaming kind of almost gaming have... noob three just uh, used name generator to generate the name for one of those as Aspel. A S S S P L. You get this feeling, Tack. You get this feeling. I'm the Aspel. That that maggot's name is Aspel. <laughs> like it, it's just like you, you're like, what should I name him? You're like Aspel. Because it looks like a really juicy ass. It's like yes. perfect. Yeah, but it's three <laughs> S's, by the way. Three S's. At the same time, however, Tack, you also kind of get. I don't. I don't want to use. Oh, well, you get a bad memory of flying through that ancient temple on top of a similar looking but much larger insect that was uh, basically like a highway of insects um, as yeah, it passes this bad. apple, and you just have like this vision of that for a second. I look down at my arm that I lost temporarily, and I shudder. I'm like, oh, God. It's not you, Aspo. It's my past. It's rough. <laughs> and then... And you look back at the apple, there, there, there is no <laughs> magnet there, a maggot there anymore. So you're just, like, kind of talking to yourself. You always were talking to yourself, but as far as you're concerned. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> is, is there anything further to explore or is this kind of like have i seen everything um yeah for the most part you're like okay i've scoped out this room cool i would like to continue back up to the poop deck okay and where miranda and austin are Aridris and jolie and report my findings wonderful um cannonball Togu and, <laughs> Togu and Darrow, let's switch back to you. Um, <laughs> I am going to cut like 80% of this session. I cannot believe we're two hours in and this is where we're at. I just got to remember it's not going to happen. It's only been an hour and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I wanted to take a long rest. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had a goal in mind. I think we all had our own goals. Um, <laughs> God, Tack, that was such pipe, a wonderful it. moment. <laughs> Sorry, Togu, what would you like to do? <laughs> I'm uh, Darrow's out first. Okay, Darrow. Dar I believe... Darrow walked through the door to go see Aragis with the letter, and I'm supposed yep. to follow him. And I just want to boot the fucking door open as hard as I can, which isn't very hard. But um, actually, now <laughs> it's a little off. harder than it was. Um, 
How about this? Air juice. It just sounds like wet fish. <laughs> I don't know. We should roll. Actually, I'll just decide. You don't wake up. Damn it, Taylor. It was just super quiet, but there was just enough laugh in there. I don't know why it was so quiet. Um, yeah, you, you almost break the door, Daryl, and you're surprised at your leg strength, specifically legs. Um, and you also notice when you kick the door that your feet are quite webbed. Uh, oh, like that Kevin is, Costner. That, 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 that answered that question. Cause I was that like, is sick. Wait, how can he kick a door open? Cause he's a fish person. I I just like to kind of uh, uh, telepathically talk to Ong and say, Ong, do you think, do you think I can switch in between fish person and real person? Who are you talking to? Ong. Oh, oh my god, I hate that he's like forcing me to be this character that I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> think about think about that next time you start a session with us falling. Yeah, fuck. I delete. I killed all the NPCs, so I wouldn't have to deal with this, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah. I'm on. On. You gotta go lower. Lower. Okay, I'm on. Um, it just looks at you. It, it's just like, mm, I'm on. With with my with my knowledge of magical like oh, fuck, shit, dude. can I switch back and forth in between mer person and non mer person? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> then I, I just want to I just want to splash out and be like, I'm Darrow, the mer person. Now, I found a letter for you, Adris. <laughs> okay. Um, he doesn't wake up. <laughs> Idris doesn't. What? Okay, I'd like to go and smack him with my fish, like <laughs> my webbed fish hand, uh, okay. and just say, "Wake up!" All right, Idris, uh, you wake up to the feeling of pain and slime um, across your <laughs> face, and you look up and you just see, "Wake up!" as this like fish-eyed dude is just staring at you. I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so I'm just like here, and I look. Are you Darrow or Togu? Gas. <laughs> it's Darrow. Now this tracks. What do you want? I have a letter for you, and I just like a fish it to him. It's like covered in olive oil at this point. <laughs> I mean, it is just. Hey. Wait, wait. You had the chance to do fish oil. I know, but it's too obvious. And you obvious. chose olive oil. Yeah, because it's oh, okay, funnier. Cool. I thought. All right. It's okay, covered yeah, in. Yeah, I get you. I get you. No, no, no. It makes sense. It's covered you. in coconut oil. Hmm. <laughs> did you lean into the microphone? I love it. Yes, I <laughs> did. <laughs> All right. I just I, I take the letter and I look at Dario. Just. I'm gonna open pop it up out I, from behind Dario. I'm gonna pop up from behind Darrow before he was gonna be like, "Hey, uh, I thought this would have cheered you up. Um, it's not the best letter." I'm a fish person now. He's fishy. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I open it up and I and I read the letter. What does the letter say again? Yes. Um. I do want to say that, Jolie, you, like, are forced out of your meditation at this point. Like, it is <laughs> it is a problem. The slapping, the coconut <laughs> oil, the questions. Um, anyway, you just hear Air just say, I mean, I don't know if you read this out loud, but Air just, you look at this thing and it says, Sorry, Father, I can't have you get in the way. We're too close to finality. And it's signed Aether. I just look at it, and I fold it back up, and I put it in my pocket. Well, um, she called me father, so I guess that's good. Uh, Eric, just don't, don't get too ahead of yourself, man. It, it, it looked like it had been in here for a while. Um, yeah, maybe so, but... Uh, also, time's kind of an illusion at the moment, right? I mean, we just we just blinked here and 
It just popped up and poof, yeah, we're here. Um, yeah, that's a meh. good point. No, no, we're, we're, uh, no, let's just, let's just figure this shit out. Yeah. Yeah, man, let's figure it out. I'd like to just go jump off. It, there's water on the other side of the boat, right? Like off this turn. Yeah, yes, certainly. You're in the you sea. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as I, uh, wait. <laughs> I'm so um, confused by what your we, fish worm looks like. <laughs> do we see him? Um, I I imagine kind of like that He-Man character that has Me too. Those, like yeah that has like the fins like oh okay I don't I know I was thinking like you know like, like General of, Akbar no like World well yeah, maybe Akbar? but like World of Warcraft. Could be that. Austin, where it's like, I think they're Murlocs, isn't that what they're called? Yeah, Murlocs. Oh, yeah. Merlo like the, oh, like okay. the dude from, um, from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always. <laughs> as they run at you, and you're like, damn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yep. is T shorter? Is he literally uh, yeah, like a yeah, yeah. Murloc? He's, he, he's shorter <laughs> and buffer. He's oh, looking that's more great. like Tack every second, really. I mean, it's just. Cool. Merlo! I'm so excited now. All right, cool. So, um, so I didn't know what a Murloc was, and I looked it up. Did you guys know that Murloc is the name of the bad guy from Ducktales? Was it Ducktales? I haven't thought about Ducktales. What? You know? Yeah, Great I know. Show. I yeah. Oh, excuse He's me. He's an evil From Ducktales, the movie. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like that. No, you can't see. Ducktales. Ooh. Oh, nice. Woo! Yeah. Okay. We're we're we're. we're. Um, so the, the yeah, dangers so, right behind you. Sorry. <laughs> um. Do, uh, do, do we? Uh, well, Daryl's right in front of me, so I see him about to move to go and seemingly jump into the water. Correct. Indeed. Yep. Okay. Um. Just as he's doing that, like mid stride, I'm like, Daryl, there's sharks in there. Uh, sharks! I'd like to. I'd like to have my disc come up and and i'd like to get on my disc and still kind of like hover over the edge <laughs> of the of the water yeah on my disc though yes um all right, like i'm thinking like nice bow place. like bow disc water oh so you're pretty far away from the water yeah nice rebuttal um, <laughs> let's, uh, go just with a perception roll from you. Go into meditation for just, like, a little bit and somebody is a fucking animal again. What eight. is up with this crew? <laughs> you got an eight? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it is at that moment that you guys just see this door from the other side just, like, as it opens. And you just see Tack come out and he says... Aspel! <laughs> Cannon's bow! What? <laughs> you meet him, you meet him. He uh, He's eating the apples. There's somebody on this boat with us? Yeah, he's one of those little worms that lives in apples. Oh, he he's a little, like a little bug? Oh, he said apple. He has a name. All right, Did you say it? Aspel? <laughs> yes. Aspel. Yeah. It's Aspel. It's Aspel? I don't know. And he I lives in an apple? I just want to clarify this whole oh, conversation. That's a very cute name. This whole conversation <laughs> is happening with Aaron just like sitting like grumpy that he's awake. Togu standing over him. Jolie on the very far side of the boat like meditating, turning back at you guys. And Darrow <laughs> is floating above you to the side on a disc and you guys are all just communicating 20 to 30 we're all streaming <laughs> yeah we're streaming uh, just like can't. sam said <laughs> same <laughs> shit as usual <laughs> well we're just yelling we're projecting you are we're, we're, all we're yelling. practicing our stage voices <laughs> oh really he said apple <laughs> yeah. Which actually um, makes even more sense that we can't understand what he's saying. Right? Indeed. Like, wait, is it <laughs> asshole? It's too good. Yeah, so what you eat? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys find There's anything below while you were looking? Besides the asshole? Um, um, there, were, there were a couple of cannons. I opened the windows okay. for him. Uh, oh, 
That's very nice of you. Yeah, the let him... need air. I'm not yeah, really. It gotta breathe. Aspel felt stuffed. Oh. Well, that's <laughs> very uh, nice hospitality there, Tack. So good. It uh, kind you, of feels like home. Guys... <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling. Did, did you guys find anything else? Um, nope. It looked like it was a big kind of captain's quarters, like a really nice, really old bunches of dust. Uh, there was a sword that a friend Daro picked up and it turned them to a fish. So we found that. Uh, oh. oh, I also got this sweet pipe. Take a look. Yeah, you also <laughs> have an ivory wooden pipe. You can write that in your inventory. Sick dog. Can... Uh can wait when you say it's ivory are you just referring to it as a color or is it literally made of like some kind of elephant or mammoth tusk the mammoth piece the mammoth the mouth piece damn that was so good mm. the mammoth piece Ma yeah is leave it. ivory so there's a big dick on it it's mammoth mammoth tusk. penis um tusk. wait okay wait wait <laughs> wait is the pipe part ivory too no just, just the, the mouthpiece. Just the mouthpiece is yeah. ivory, and everything else is wood. Got it. It seems like a nice. pretty nice one. So yeah. If you ever, yeah, if sure you does. ever want some, uh, if you ever, if you ever want some like stuff, let me know. You're more than welcome to okay. use it. Um. Oh yeah, and uh, you know that reminds me. I was, uh, I was waiting for a special occasion to give you this, but uh, you know, fuck it. Um. And I reach into my inventory and I pull out. Um, Togu's leather pouch of white powder and uh, give him his cocaine. <laughs> Where did he get that? <laughs> I got it underneath his mattress. It's like a <laughs> Ziploc baggie. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I have leather pouch written. <laughs> but that, I just want to be clear about what that looks like to you, Togu. I mean, it is just like... It's incriminating. Is it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, what do you have there, bud? Um, it was in your room. Figured you might want to have it for adventures and shit. Um, Just in case you know, we want to bake some cookies or bread or something. <laughs> ba ba bake some cookies of bread. All right. What? Yeah. Oh, it's, because, because you gave flour, me. Right? Because no, I, I was going to call it sugar. Most of us call it sugar. Um, I got. Oh, well, I heard sugar. I what got, are you guys talking I got, about? Yeah, I, uh, like uh, he he I want to try and grab it from him and then put it away into a pocket as quickly as possible. Air just, Is that you... cocaine? <laughs> he he flies this. closer with his I'm fist. Trying. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> um, to, uh, to, uh, Air just, are you going to resist him taking it from you? I'm giving it to him. Oh, great. Yeah, I mean, you just snatch it, dude. Um, it's a gift. And... Yeah. Darrow, make a perception roll. Did <laughs> I get advantage? No. Kidding. <laughs> Why you, he asks his weirdest <laughs> question. Do, do I get advantage on cocaine perception? Since hey, I got, anyone's going to get advantage on Look that. Look at me. Yeah. I, got a, <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> um, it, it looks like a baby diaper to you. Cool, gross. <laughs> And I just gonna <laughs> just shove it in my pocket. Thanks, dog. Yeah, you saw him just <laughs> shove a baby diaper used into his pocket. Dude, if that's a baby diaper full of cocaine, like baby diapers are big. We've all been there, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a weird scenario. Um, um, I always carry drugs so... in baby diapers. Yeah. <laughs> Cheapest containers I know. Togu was uh, was there anything else? Um, in that room that could maybe help us uh, get back to Souther or know even where we are right now? I mean, honestly, it was just a big bed uh, and actually some really beautiful windows, but just the big bed and a desk. Um, but the desk did have uh, a lit candle on it that had been burning hmm. for a long time. Um when I opened the drawer, that's where I found uh, the letter that Daryl just gave you. Hmm. <laughs> um, 
I want to I want to look up at the sale. I can't, I can't remember. Did you say it was like all torn up and shit? It's torn up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, we're gonna have to figure out how to get back uh, get back to land. I guess. Um. Was there anything you Give didn't it. check in that in that office room? I mean, I, I mean, I only looked in one drawer of the desk. Uh, we didn't really look under the bed or anything. We just kind of did a quick sweep and glance of the whole thing. You could probably go take a look in there if you want. Yeah, we might as well. All right, I'll follow you. I want to help him up. Because remember, I'm like 6'6 six, six now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoosh. Whee! And, and Darrow's now like 5'8. Not much of a change. I'm I mean, hella stronger, so I'll take five, it. 5'2. That's still fine. 4'2. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> <laughs> short do you have to be to get pissed? Daryl as a mer person is just stoked to be a fucking mer person right now. You're, you know? you're now 3-6. <laughs> cool. Damn, she fine. fish. Final answer. Uh, oh my god, I'm taller than you now. <laughs> you hear Stan- <laughs> Jolie has left her meditation area and is now sizing herself up next to you and it's... <laughs> She's yeah, I'm just kind of sitting taller. lotus, but I'm facing you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I actually very short now? Yeah, you're short. You're like okay. four feet tall. Okay, my voice has changed significantly then. So that's your that's your prerogative, man. Do what you need yep. to do. But yep. you're you, you have you so have excited. gills now. I just want to clarify. Yeah. Like you're a different sure. person. Um, I do want to say that Jolie and Ara just uh, did get a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need a long rest to get my spells back. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't think that happened. I got mine. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like a cat? Cool. Oh. Um so yes. Uh Togu Aragis, you guys uh go into this room again. Um and there's still just the desk with one drawer not opened. Cool. Yeah, so this is the room. Uh, I got the pipe right here. Do not touch. Does uh, Darrow still have the sword with him? Or is it in the room still? Uh, Darrow, do did, did you still have it? Uh, I I didn't drop it. Yeah, I think he has it. Okay. okay. So the sword that turned him into a fish person was on this desk. And then the drawer on the right was where I found Yoletta. Cool. Um, I, w- I want to go inspect uh, the the desk, and um, yeah, just look for anything out of the ordinary. Let's do an investigation roll. Nat twenty. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! We are crushing it. Oh, can someone? Um, hey, anyone watching this, we're going to post this to YouTube soon. Can you just cut all of this and all the times people nat at 20 in one fucking session? That'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. Not um, even nat 20, just, just nat all. Let's just go That's nats. Four. Just go nats. I'll just assume it's nats. either a nat 1 or 20 and everything else doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's natsy. That sounds great. Just clip some of the over and over. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, that was funny, Taylor. Um, so, <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I was like, uh, that's, yeah. That was you. Um, <laughs> Aragis, you look around the room, and you just get this weird vibe about the desk. You're like, yep, I want to open that. And you just open this drawer. Um, and inside it, you find a couple things. First, you find at least um, like 20 ounces of tobacco. And it seems like pretty oh. high grade. Um, and, and really nice. Um, however... Through your uh, inquisitive investigation abilities, <laughs> um, you do notice on the back of this drawer that the, uh, I don't know what you call this, but like it's almost like the paper, like the, the wallpaper in the drawer. Mm. Is like, like, like a little drawer paper mm. that makes it pretty paper, on the inside. You know, yeah. and there's probably a word for that, but I am not the guy to know that. It, it's kind of curling up <laughs> on one on the back left side. Cool. Um, I uh, I pick up the tobacco. I'm like, oh, here you go, Togu. I hand the, to- uh, 20 Togu ounces. the tobacco. 20 ounces. That's a Sick lot, apparently, because of how many times he's repeating it. 20. 
I don't know. I don't uh, know my volume is it, very well. <laughs> do we know? Do we know what type of tobacco it is? Is it a specific type of tobacco, or is there oh, a man. bag, or is it you just open it up? You open it up, and you take a deep, deep sniff. menthol. I mean, like a. <laughs> and it's, it's clear to you in seconds that it is black sale tobacco. Um, Ooh, which is the nice highest thing. grade nice. of our Dinny tobacco out there. They're famous for their tobacco. Um, it's very stout, dark uh, tobacco, um, but doesn't take much to get you there. We'll go with that. Got it. Oh, um, thanks, man. Yeah, you're back. Um, and then I just want to just very carefully pull back the, the drawer paper. Just okay. like try to peel it back. As you're pulling this back, you notice that the, so uh, on the top of this paper was like kind of a tan colored um, pattern with like a black pattern on top of it. And as you peel it back, you start to notice lots of colors on the bottom of this paper. And you take the rest of it out and you look at this thing. Oh no, Miranda. You look at uh, the bottom of this paper and you realize that it is the exact painting that you had done six years ago. Fuck! Um, okay, sorry, weird question. Which painting? Yes, it was the painting of your wife's tribe um, village. And um, anyone who's watching, if you'd like to go two sessions, is it two sessions? Session to go? Two sessions. Two sessions. Yes. the she Yes. Uh, Gosh. yes. Welcome to the rock. Get it's the fish. one that you did to try and remember, um, Rena's family's tribe, or village. I keep saying tribe. It was, it was not, like, her favorite one. Like, it was the, or, or was it her favorite one? The one that was kind of shittily done? <laughs> the one where we joked that was stick figures? Yes. Yeah, that one. Okay, good. It's the good. shitty one. Okay. Um, so, I just look at it. Um, yeah, what, what is the most, uh, appropriate, like, like, hmm, what's the safest way to store paintings and shit? Oh, man. I, I would I'm, think rolling them up, right? Yeah, uh, often it's rolled and then put into a sheath, like, well, container cylinder. Yeah, it's like a tube. Sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to, uh, I want to roll it up and uh put it into i suspect painter supplies might include one of those i don't know you have um, you have a uh a liquid that like prolongs the life of paintings fuck yeah i do i'm a within your painter uh, supplies um cool well if this doesn't have any of that on it i'm gonna put the appropriate amount of it on it and then I'm going to roll it up gently and do a little and store it in my inventory. Yeah, okay. Um, for anyone watching, uh, in our campaign, we think that bags and or containers are silly for a and d So theoretically, all of them have a bag of holding, and I don't give a fuck. I'm glad we cleared <laughs> that up because <laughs> I think that's Wait, we all part. have one? A bag of holding? Yeah. You don't have a yeah. bag of holding. Oh shit, that's but badass. Thanks, never, Austin. We all have bags of holding. It's never I can't gonna be an item. Thank you. It's oh, never. It's so cute. Oh my I love god. It. You're never gonna find a bag <laughs> of holding <laughs> because I don't give a shit about inventory. All right, are we clear about this? <laughs> However, so we all have bags of holding. Sure, yeah. but if that's you have nine up. large <laughs> great swords, we've got a problem. I'll just put them all into the bag of holding. It's fine. Yeah, just have a spear we can take anything we want and keep it with us for. It's like Mary Poppins, guys. Yeah, you guys are Mary Poppins. You guys are Mary Poppins, man. Let's go. Okay. All right. Here's the deal, though. Realistically, you're like every RPG ever made, and you're like, why can I hold nine swords? And then we don't worry about it. All right, because who cares? <laughs> but try and put a whole cool. fucking house in it. We're gonna have a problem. Okay, it's not a bag of holding. All right. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm saving that I'm shit. I'm stoked to have a bag of holding. You yeah, don't um, have a bag of holding. So awesome. Yours is really cute too. God, that that turned this whole session around for us. We all have bags wow, of holding. Yeah, now. I'm glad we clarified that. Uh, that's been a, the that's, best. I feel like that's been clear for a while, right? I like, meant so that. Everybody's. So, 
I meant so do I write bag, bag really quick. <laughs> Tack has literally, remember he was holding like nine weapons at some point. He's like, I got all you guys' these weapons. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. You know, I'm like, anyway. <laughs> That's Tack, by the way, coming back from that, that I enemy am hideout with all your stuff. I got your stuff, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty accurate. No, it is. And, um... Oh, fuck, that's funny. It, yeah, and for anyone watching, um... We're gonna go on break. We'll see you guys really, really <laughs> soon. Uh, and I'm sorry for everything that I do in this session. And yes, I have had two drinks. We will see you in five to ten minutes. Hopefully not more than that, but probably Smell five you to ten. later. And enjoy oh the God, ads. No, see you later. I gotta poop.
All right, and we one. are back. Um, why do you guys always say something right when I come back in? It's always one of you. It's like it's always a random sound. Too, like, eh, it's like, it's because there's too much it. dead silence. What is that, Joe? It's we're afraid of. <laughs> oh, what what is this? Yeah, I think it's... it looks pretty similar to what Sam has. Oh. It's a beautiful set of dice that you could oh. happen to find on DiceEnvy.com. Come on. So envious. That happened to be Ooh, an affiliate la, la. of ours. If you go to DiceEnvy.com forward slash the ball cap or grade, Backslash. you can check out all the sweet dice that they have. Metal, acrylic, wood. Mm. I messed up my webcam. Um, all <laughs> sorts of amazing different things for you to roll sweet rolls with. Like we get gnats all the time so we can Only drink tonight. more. Only if you tonight. want to drink more, yeah. go to DiceEnvy.com. Awesome. Forward slash ball cap brigade. Thanks, slash. Um, I actually don't know. I just say that be just to, you know, disagree with you. Backslash, <laughs> forward slash, who cares? Just slash it, all right? The bottle cap brigade. Um, you guys are in this captain's quarters. Um, well, some of you are. And uh, Darrow, you're floating on a disc, if I recall. You're the first one to notice this, but however... Um, you rolled like an 11 or less on your perception roll, so maybe you don't. But here's the deal. You guys are on this boat, and you uh, are, are in different places on the poop deck, and also the captain's quarters, and also floating on a disc off of the boat. However, the boat itself suddenly gets hit with a large, large bump. It feels like an earthquake almost as it knocks the boat to the side you all fall to the ground and catch yourself um confused at what is happening however the boat seems to be affixed to something else all right y'all i feel like if, if i if i have to guess there's a fucking monster about to attack us that doesn't feel right, and I'm gonna run to the the uh, what is it called the the wheel of fortune. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. You spin <laughs> it and wheel? see what you the win. Steering wheel. Yeah. So though on a boat. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, no, I'm having, I, I, I want to run. We're a hundred percent calling the wheel of fortune. In fact, when you go up to it, it has like uh, <laughs> different like colored segments that have different like n numbers on it, and and one of them has skulls, and 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 then the other ones have different like money values. Oh my gosh! I run up and I kind of skid on my heels, and my eyes get all big. It's so pretty. I'm gonna walk up to it and use my uh, intuition to <laughs> to to bring some control back to the boat. Intuition. All right. <laughs> I don't got no no uh, piloting skills. Let me, yeah, let me just look through all of your skill sets and uh, we'll choose <laughs> intuition. Um, My goal is to like steady the boat so it doesn't rock too much. Okay. Um, yes, you grab onto this thing and you feel like no leverage from it. As if whatever yeah. control it would have over some sort of rudder or anything over the boat is completely busted. It can I tell this is happening? <laughs> um, can can me and Togu just run out of the captain's quarters to yeah. see what's up? Is, I mean, that would make you guys right. fell to the ground, but yeah, you can stand up and just run out. Um, but Jolie, Holy yeah, shit. you turn this thing and nothing's. It's just like it's like spinning free. This is a free ass motherfucking wheel right here. Some shit's about to happen, and I kind of just walk away from it. <laughs> What else can happen today? Ergis and Togu, you enter uh, the poop deck, um, and you see Daryl floating, like looking confused at the boat, and tack like against the wall, uh, aside of the boat. What the hell is uh, that? Can we, can we tell where the bump came from? You guys can make a perception roll. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it too. Can we all, all do right. it? Yeah, let me know who got an 18 <laughs> or higher. Um, Darrow, I you won't be making oh, that. I dropped my die. Oh, hey! shit! I got a five anyway, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I you, you failed it. Uh, natural 20. Yes! 
Did you get a nat okay. 20? No, I thought Jake's, you said you did. She, oh, Jake's of Ake's shark. <laughs> oh, close for enough. For following us. <laughs> Jolie, you uh, are at this wheel. And, and so you do have to go up a level to get to that, right? Because it's on the, the upper portion. Um, and you look, you look uh, to the side. And you do see like a darker blue, and it's just like this movement, and then it's gone. Uh uh. Y'all, I think I just saw a fucking tentacle or something. Uh, wait, uh, you, uh, how big? Shit. How the size of the tentacle is important. Uh, huge, fucking huge, like. How big was it? The size of the ship or bigger? Uh, yeah, the one tentacle looked pretty large. I would say it, this one thing that you saw moving through the water, which seemed cylindrical, uh, looked like it could probably wrap around the whole boat twice. Um, yeah, it could definitely wrap around the whole boat twice. It's huge. It's fucking huge. Holy sh- uh, we should get to the cannons, you guys. You said there were cannons, right, Tack? Time. Can time. Um, I think it's can time. It, we, uh, yeah, I, we, we, whatever this is, if it if it didn't like the boat enough to bump it, then it probably is going to come back and bump it again. Um, Daryl, you're probably good. You can shoot it with with fire and shit, right? Yes. All right. Um, yeah, I'm running. I'm running down to get cannons. Get some cannon action. All right. I'm falling. Let's talk about the rules of the Kraken fight. First uh, off, a Kraken tentacle has a certain amount of HP. A cannon does 1d20 plus the player's combined dex bonifier. Uh, to, um, what do you call that? Uh, to, mm, to use the cannon, it requires two players yes. to do so. Um... Players can also attack this creature manually. However, the cannon does do a significant amount of damage. Um, but it is a dex modifier for it. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you so far. However, um, as you guys are talking, you do feel the boat like suddenly, uh, like it was moving a little bit, like, and it stops. Um, as you slowly see this massive tentacle start to come on the right side of the boat. We won't be clear about what what we call the right side of the boat. Starboard. Damn it! I guessed wrong. Um, (laughs) And it comes up starboard (laughs) side. (laughs) And it comes up starboard (laughs) side, and you see it slowly try and snake its way towards the mast. I will say that there are three important things on this boat, and if they all were to break, the boat will be destroyed. You see it slowly start to wrap around the mast, the center of this uh, of this boat, mm-hmm. and we're all oh. going to roll <clears throat> initiative. <laughs> Come on, do something good, do something good. Unnatural twenty. Hey. Cool, 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 cool. I can work with this. Tell me something good. Um, Ergis, what'd you get? Uh, thirteen. Togu. Uh, 16. Oh, fuck you guys. I don't have any spells. Uh, Jolie. 12. Well, I you can help with cannons. Level. Um, tech. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not. 17. Uh, and you can shoot, right. shoot with the crossbow that you never use. <laughs> And in, in some fan art, a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> I love which it. I, which I like a lot for the record. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I feel yeah. like a slingshot is totally jolly. Whoever it's... did, yeah, whoever's been sending this fan art is freaking brilliant. Love oh, it. man. Goblins freaking love it. Goblins, Dungeons. Oh, man. I've forgotten. You guys rock. Goblins, though. Dungeons, and Dragons. Goblins, Dungeons, and Dragons. Well done. <laughs> um. So up first is Darrow. And I just want to clarify, if you guys uh, do want to use the cannons, each cannon requires two people to fire. Darrow, what would you like to do? Okay, so uh, let me kind of make sure I'm, I, I get a good handle on the layout here. So there's one tentacle on the right-hand side, the starboard side of the boat. 
that's sneaking wrapped up, around the mast. wrapped around the mast. Um, and the cannons are on both the starboard and the port sides of the boat. Underneath. Yeah. One In the goalie. Okay. okay. Uh, how far would it be to get underneath to one of the cannons? Yeah, you just have to go through the uh, stern side door and go down the stairs. Yeah, how many feet would that be? I don't really, I don't know necessarily where I am physically right now. You're floating stern side. Um, it it'd probably be forty feet. Okay. Um, and you'd have to get off the disc. Okay. Well, so I'd like to. I'd like to do a couple things. I'd like to first, uh, can I see, um, since I'm floating up a little bit, can I see where the tentacle is coming from? Like, can I get a pretty general idea of like the origin, wherever sure. the body of the Kraken is? It seems to be fairly directly underneath the boat. Okay. Um, I'd like to, um, in that case, uh, you. I'd like to cast um, Darkness um like underneath the boat um and i'd like to oh. use twin spell um and burn some sorcerer points to do it um for you to cast both uh two two iterations of darkness um so you make and, a big area of it yeah like a 30 foot radius it's, it's, so it's, it'll be a 30 foot radius sphere of uh, dark well two separate 15 foot ones and i want to put them uh on both the starboard and port sides down under the water um so that anything like below the level of the ocean wouldn't be able to see anything if that makes sense yep yeah. i mean no light magical or natural can enter it yeah um and then i'd like to use my movement um, to get as close to the starboard cannon as I could uh, with my disc. Um, can my disc, like, follow me? Can't fit through the door, yeah. Same door. Okay, then, that's okay. Then I just want to use my disc to, like, um, kind of block the doorway um, and provide some shielding uh, other than, like, enough room for my friends to fit through it. Okay. Also, um, thank you, Kamo Carmel, for following us. I love you. Okay. Um, it, it, it the whole water underneath the boat seems to fill with darkness. I mean, it's the darkest blue you've ever seen in the water, um, and you just hear like this moan, like as this thing is like wrapping around the mast. Um, but it seems kind of clear to you that maybe it couldn't see what it was doing to begin with. However, uh, it seems a little sloppier with what it is attempting to do. It's just, its tentacle is just trying to grab randomly at things and eventually does make contact with the mast in the center of the poop deck. Poop, poop deck. Um, you make it, uh, into the, uh, the goalie. Is it galley or goalie? I just feel like I'm making up stuff at this point. Galley sounds, sounds it's like a boat thing. Goalie. <laughs> See, we're pretty split on this. Is it a U or an A? <laughs> Um, you and go to the lower level of this ship, and you do make it to the cannon. Okay. Uh, um, as... On the starboard side, the tentacle is... So you can't actually even see out of this cannon hole, as we've been calling it, this window, uh, because it, the tentacle's completely encompassed it. I mean, it's just darkness when you go in there. Okay. Do you have dark um, vision? Uh, yeah. Okay. Point, uh, point of information here. Uh, a goalie is like a... Uh, in in the earth, and then a galley is like a ship's kitchen or a kitchen. Hmm. So, it's neither. Go. It's the Trust bottom you. level. We'll call it the cannon deck. That sounds fun. I'll look it up. Um, as as my last kind of thing that I would like to do, um, I'd like to direct um Ong, uh, to go and peck at the tentacle that's wrapping around the. Um, like the mast to try to distract it. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn, Sam? That's all I got. I'm just giving you shit. Let's do an attack roll for for Ong. 
Okay, we'll, we'll just go natural. I mean, it's a magpie, right? So, uh, you gotta 18. You got pretty good. Yeah, okay, you hit. It's not uh, avoiding, evading you in any way. Yeah, uh, probably a d4. Yeah, no mod. Okay. Yeah, uh, three. Nice. Yeah, it pecks at it and a little blood comes down from this tentacle. Okay. Um, what does it sound like? What does Ong say? It, it's like, I'm Ong, Ong. Oh. Each, peck, each peck was one damage. Like, oh, oh, oh. And Tack, you're up. Toga, you're on deck. Literally. Got it. Hey. Hey, yes! thanks for that. Dude, you're so good tonight. Thanks, man. I'm going to take my like, shirt off. Like, getting me... Like, I'm on a whole new level over here. No, it's insane. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> Tack, what would you like to do? Um, I would like to run down to the cannons all right you start running um and you like avoid this spinning disc that's defending you like zzz, and you like go right by that and you start heading down the stairs like whoa, whoa. and you see uh darrow over to the side like trying to lift up one of these huge cannonballs but it's far too heavy for one human it, even a murloc as himself thank you well, i look at him and i say good thing it's not too heavy for one goblin and i go pick it up you're Please you're fucking go stacked him. right now, Tack. You're fucking. Listen to my muscles squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause the music just so everybody knows that there is a, a a fish person and a goblin who are both not natively either of these things that are both weirdly <laughs> built for their short uh, posture, I'm gonna put height. And you guys are like slowly lifting this. Now I do want to clarify that it does take one action from either of you to fully lift and fire this cannon. So Darrow, if you do assist him at this point, you will have no actions on your next turn. So he can't lift and fire it with his one action? Or it takes both of our actions to lift and fire. It's one action from each of you to do so, and we're gonna use. So it's like one action. So it's like one action to lift, and then one action to fire. Yeah, and it requires two people to do so. Okay. Well, let's fucking shoot this thing, Tack, if you wanna. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I kind of, I kind of wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they sound the same now. <laughs> they look into each other's uh, eyes, just like the moment with the maggot and the apple. There's just some sort of connection that takes place. And they I, just... I turn to the barrel and I go, Asphalt, man, the other cannon! And you just see this maggot like fly out of the barrel and start like... <laughs> Is Tack going to have an animal companion? That we was have hard. Asphalt and Steve. Oh. <laughs> oh man! Tack and his inchworm. We. I think. Ev I think at this point, like, if you get your inchworm, everybody would have like a sidekick animal buddy, except for Miranda. <laughs> I'm my own sidekick animal buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own best friend. <laughs> Far from spaceballs. <laughs> um, all right, so Daryl, on your next turn, your action will have been used up. Um, Tack, you are using your action because your movement yeah. is used up, but your action is still available. So you guys would like to fire this. Um, here's the deal. You both get to roll a d10 and each add your dex modifier. Ooh, spicy. Do I get any additional dex modifier for being a merman? Um, yeah, let's go plus one. Okay, I get uh, eight, six plus two. Jeez. Ooh, I got seven plus five, 12. 12 and eight, so 20? Mm hmm. You guys do 20 damage as he watches this cannon, like, blows, uh, a, I would say, a 30% hole out of the side of this tentacle. You're welcome for all that. Thirty percent hole. Yes. It's very, very statistical. So we would, uh, on a lot of occasions, we'd call that gaping. All right, that's that's a that's a monster hole in that tentacle. Uh, but you watch as this cannon goes flying cannon with all of this tentacle flesh out into the sea. Um, Togu, you're up. Air, just you're on deck. Happy, uh, cool. Uh, do I have any adjusted stats as the weasel? Um, you are stronger. I believe I gave you a plus two to strength. Uh, I don't have any notes on it, so you probably did. Um, okay. <laughs> I did. 
Did it, does my speed adjust too? No. What is your speed? Okay. Is it lower than 30? Yeah. It's 30 was now. It? Okay, thanks, bro. I was a gnome, dog. Of course it was. Yeah, okay, it's 30. <laughs> That's pretty basic. Okay. You're 30, yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Um, I would like to uh, pull out church key. And uh, do I have any claws or teeth as the weasel that I can use in battle? Yes. Hey, do they do? I, I guess I don't know. Okay. If you were to do an unarmed um, strike, it'd be stronger than punching. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pull out church key, and then I'm going to. Uh, so the the spot that they shot with the cannon is that the it's that's off the deck, correct? Yes, it's like mid level of the boat. Uh, okay. Um. I would like to go to the part that's on the mast and try to stab and then slide it down and cut as much of it as I can. Ooh, okay. Um, let's do a athletics first. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 10. Nope, I rolled an 11. Nice. Okay, you climb up uh, to where you wanted to stab. Let's say uh, out of your movement, it's less because you're climbing. So let's say you went about 10, 15 feet up. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is the tentacle, is it on the deck, though? It's on the deck, and it reaches all the way to the mast, and it probably goes like 30 feet up. Yeah, I'm mass. sorry. I miss, I misspoke. I'm going to the part that's on the deck, like right as it goes up. So I don't have to climb. I'm just going for the part that's on the ground. Cool, man. Let's do the tech roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. You hit. Let's do damage. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, technically it's an 18 to hit, but... Is it, this church key? Mm, yes. Cool. Actually, I don't want that one. I want this one. Uh, it's fucking sweet. I do, <laughs> I do two damage. Hell yeah. Little suction cup just goes wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just takes one of the suction cups off. Like, he's like, "This is for me." You can write your inventory. You have a Kraken suction cup. <laughs> Are you being yes. serious? Yeah, that'll yeah. make okay. for some chewy jerky. It's like, no, I'm just gonna use it as one of those like toys that you used to get at the dentist, where you like push it in and it goes. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little frog. And then sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't ever go, those. and you're just staring at it like, is it gonna fly? And it never does. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, you do two damage to this thing. You fucked it up. Thanks, man. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to do? You can communicate. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it, and then I'm going to get as much as my movement towards. Uh... Wait. So did Erdris and uh, Tack went down? Or, uh, no, sorry, Daro and Tack went down into the cannonball room or the cannon room. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to stay on the deck as just kind of holding down the fort, but I'd like to move away from the tentacle as far as I can. Okay. That's all I need to do. I'm going to say you move about 10 feet away. Cool. Cool. Um, Air, just you're up. Jolie, you're on deck. Cool. Um, I want to pull out my Extendo Spiro. And uh, I want to run over and make an attack, um, just uh, like do a little flourish, and then try to like like harpoon right where Togu um, attacked with Church Key. You have um, to harpoon it. That's the only yeah. term. That's the only action. Yeah, I'm gonna harpoon the fuck out of it. Verb it up. Um, cool. And yeah, uh, and then right after that, I'm gonna do an uh, an unarmed strike as as a bonus action because monk shit. And yep. my goal here is to, um, I mean, I feel like kicking it is just going to be stupid. You don't uh, want to make a, gonna... you could make a thigh covenant with it. Just, <laughs> um, what I was actually thinking about doing was like, like hitting the spear. So it, so it like, it cut it harder. You know yeah, what I mean? Like fucking stab, great idea, bam. dog. Yeah, expend a, cool? extend a spear and then extend that spear even further, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. here we go. So take, take a, to a, hit on a... at least six pills of extends and just fucking jam that thing in there. Bam! Okay. Um, 
I got a, that's a 19 to hit on the extendo spear. It hits. And a 20 to hit on the- Nice. That one misses. No, you hit with both. <laughs> cool. All right, extendo spear. We are looking at, um, God, I always forget what shape these things are. Okay, this one. That is uh, seven damage on the spear. And my unarmed strike is another seven. Okay, 14 damage. Yep. Rock on. All right. So what's, uh, wait, so what's what's the summary of what's happening right now? So yes. the two, uh, uh, fucking Darrow and Tack are on a cannon. Erdris, you're up top, like melee fighting. Togu, what are you doing? I'm Same with thing. Erdris. Yep. You're up there. And there's only one cannon or there's two? There's two cannons, but they're each facing each, uh, different side. Not so four. Oh, you, you oh, guys don't total. really know that necessarily. One Actually, each side. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I guess I wouldn't even really know. Um, yes. But there was a fucking thing. Um, well, I mean, Tack well, kind of told no, you guys no. there were cannons. You Tack guys told know. us that there are cannons. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys okay. We know that there are cannons. I told you. I told right. you. <sighs> told you. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to head down to a cannon. If there's another one, we should hit this thing with one of those. It's It seems to be doing a little bit more damage. I'm going to run I was, down. Well, oh, I, for the rest of my... I was going to use the rest of my movement. Whatever I didn't use... To just to get to where that was, I was going to head towards the door and get down into the cannon room. Okay, Jolie, you see uh, Air just do his, like, 100% extendo spear action into this thing, rip his spear out afterward, and uh, then just start running towards the door. I'm going to say you see him start to go down the stairs of this door. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, that'd probably use all my movement and my... Uh... Like, I would probably have to use my movement and my bonus action. What is that called again? Dashing? Um, dashing. I, I think I think you could make it to the cannon without dashing. Okay. Word. Um, shit. Um, I guess I'm going to... I mean, I think that's all I can do. I'm just going to run to the cannon, and then I'm going to have to wait until Aerodris is next turn to shoot it. Okay, so this is what this is the option I gave to Darrow too. Um, you get to the cannon, you see Eridris get there like breathing hard, like, and you see Tack and Darrow like both of their arms are just like they're so fucking tired. They're like on the ground, like lifting this cannon and firing it. And uh, when Darrow like lifted it up, it like literally like he felt like his arm spasm, and he's like, oh, it falls to the ground as his thing. And when Tack lights it, it he's like holding it, he's like, ha, and it fires like. Ha! And he goes, like, flying back and hits, like, a wall on the side. So they're both, like, <laughs> fucking exhausted or, like, beaten up against a wall. Um, okay, so you, you know what? Air I'm feeling rowdy, there. and this looks like a crazy-ass motherfucking pillow, f- pillow fight right now. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Aragis could assist you in doing this. This would use your action and Aragis' action on his next turn. But you could fire the cannon. I want to fire it. Let's do this. So it is a uh, oh, yeah. it, it is a, a D10 plus your dex mod from both of you. Oh dang it, I rolled a D20. Okay, hold on. Sorry, yeah, D10. Oh, you guys okay. got on a D10, a zero's a 10, right? Ooh. Seven, That's eight, a, nine. Is that right? Nine to the table. <laughs> right? Well, I would think so, because it'd be weird for zero to be zero. It's a 10. Yeah, yeah. Ten. so I got I, I had to think 13. about that. Okay, and 13. I rolled a nine. Mm-hmm. Seven plus dex. Cool. So 22. Well done, guys. Thanks. You beat Darrow and Tack. <laughs> I just dropped my <laughs> dice. I, I, uh, I turned to high damn. five, Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You watch. Uh, you see this cannon go flying through us, and it's like... You, it's like this tentacle, right? But there are like two whole circles taken out. So you just have this thing that's like, and then it just goes into the center thing. Um, you just hear this large moan, almost like a wail from from the water and splashing. Like how's it sound? And what? Yeah, it's just like, like a butterfly. It it's like, ah! No, it's it's not like the butterfly. That was different from the first time. Sessions. 
Um, it, it's just like a... <laughs> that makes it sad. <laughs> oh, no. With the face to have free willy. <laughs> Guys, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Uh, <laughs> Second guess all thing. Um, <laughs> he sounds sad. Darrow, it's your turn. You yeah, are maybe he is action. just misunderstood. Also, I don't know if it's a he. <laughs> That's um, probably what's so misunderstood <laughs> about him. Do you think we should talk to him? To them? I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm I'm down on the cannon. Um, and there's a tentacle with a hole in front of me. Um, how how far would it take me to move back out, like kind of in the open, um, like out of the You could get to the edge of the poop deck with 30 feet. Okay. Um, then, all right. Uh, so I'd like to move, uh, not to like the edge, but I kind of want to move, um, is someone in the middle of the deck. Um, okay. If I could. So you're not you're not edging. I'm not edging. I'm uh, unedging, as as right they in say in some circles. Yeah. Um, and then. Um, uh, I guess I just got a. I don't have any bonus actions, which is unfortunate. So I'll just um, already already a shield just in case i have to use it and then i'll uh just have ong attack again okay let's do an attack roll for ong what does he sound like he, he goes like ong i'm ong okay well he rolled a two this time so to attack <laughs> yeah oh yeah he just misses squarely uh with all of his beak attacks it's okay. like he Can lands I... on it, and he's like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> uh, could I have uh, my disc uh, kind of above me now, too? It's floating in the same place it was. Okie doke. All right. Tack, it's your turn, Togu. You're still on deck. Hmm. Um, Dick funny. You're on Dick. <laughs> So there's still the tentacle on that right side with a big piece of it missing, correct? Yes, lower down, starboard. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to use action action surge to load and fire the cannon. Two actions. Yes. Oh! Fuck yes. Get it. How many of those do you get? One. Per long rest? Uh, finish a short or long rest. Dope. So, yes, I will do that. Let's see. Oh, uh, so do I just roll a d20 since it's just me then? You're gonna, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Or you can roll two d10. You choose. Uh, mathematically, if you roll two d10, then you get to add your dex modifier twice. Yeah, Indeed. I was gonna say. <laughs> I'll do that. Also, uh, thanks, McTome, for hanging out and subscribing and being a mod. And also, we yeah. promise that we're going to get our D&D &D, uh, overlay, D&D &D Beyond overlay, figured out really, really soon so everyone can view our characters on Sorry, Twitch. Sorry, guys. Because I've been harping everyone about it for <laughs> four weeks. He literally yeah. has for a I'll month be... now. We need to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be over 11, here. 11 plus 8, so 19. Total damage. Okay, well... Yeah. Fortunately yeah. for you and unfortunately for you, it has a life total regardless of what I've described with yeah. the visuals. But you do get to shoot the fuck out of this thing for 19 damage. So you see another... Uh, it, it's like slowly moved up, so that part that was nasty is now a little separated from where you're firing. Um, that's my story adjustment for how much life total it has. And you, you send another, like, it's right nasty. to the center of this thing. Like, so you just see this, like... You know, the cylinder going up, and it now has this, like, new hole in the center of it. And you just hear... <laughs> as you deal with Oh, this is making me sad. Yeah, no, it it hurts the the thing, too. It's not real. It doesn't feel real pain. 
Uh, Needs to get off of our boat. Yeah, we're trying to just be. <laughs> get off my boat. Yeah. Uh, Toku, it is your turn. And Aragis, you're on deck. Jolie, you're afterward. Toku, what was that? How far am I from the? How far am I from the edge of the boat? Oh man, you're very close. I would say five okay, feet. Uh, looking on the deck of the ship, do I see any rope? Oh, there you guys are. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there is rope lining the entire edge of the ship. Um, that literally, like, it's like going through different kind of like metal loops. Um, mm. But not necessarily like a rope that I could use. It would take me quite a bit to use that rope. You would have to pull it out and unknot it, yeah. Okay, I, I just want to look over the edge and see, and take a look at the creature and what's kind of beneath us. Okay, you've used five of your movement. You look over the edge um, and you can see like splashing. But it seems to be at least double size of the ship. There seems to be some sort of mass underneath where the tentacle is coming from that is darkening the sea below you. Yeah, uh, it okay. fills you with a... ab absolute fear. I mean, it is. Scary. And there's only there's there is only one tentacle out of the water right now. Correct? At the moment, yeah. Okay, I want to go back to the spot that Eridris and I tried to stab, and I'm going to try and stab it again. Okay, you see. I feel like Led move. Zeppelin definitely is playing in the background. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, this time, it, though, yeah. I'm gonna. Eat... Oh no! Never mind. Never mind. Okay, you would like to attack though, and and certainly yeah. there is pretty fairly intense combat music going on right now. Togu, what would you like to do? You want to attack with that? Yeah. Church key yeah. right church in the key. mouth. All right, let's do yeah. it. I hit a twelve. For attack, twelve to hit. You do not hit. Cool, man. <laughs> you swing at it and you cut, um, and it just doesn't seem to pierce through its its uh, thick skin. Okay. Uh, with a bonus action, can I use the dagger of sharpening to sharpen church key? Whoa! Is that uh, a skill of yours to use a bonus action in that way? I I have no idea. You gave me the dagger of sharpening. All no, the only it, rules I have is, only rules I have is anything I touch becomes sharper and more powerful when I touch it with that dagger. Um, Those no. are my rules. Yeah. No. Okay. So it has to be with a full action, correct? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, that's that's my turn. Okay. Uh, no, I'll use I'll use church key and I'm gonna cut the rope that's on the edge of the boat. Can I do that as a bonus or no? No. All right, cool. I'm done. Unless you have like a bonus action skill, but no, you've used your uh -uh. action to attack. Um, uh, Eridris, you are out of an action as well because you used it up and paid it forward. True. Um, so, uh, the, with this with this window, how um, how far away from the window is the tentacle? Very close. Within five it's like, feet. Okay. Cool. Then I just want to go up, um, since like because I'm, I'm a little uh, I'm a little actionless at the moment, and I just want to take a bonus action unarmed strike, um, uh, with and I want I want to give it like a little like like a like a freaking you know I'll, I'll do my fingers all Jeet Kune Do like and just jab okay. it right in its tentacle. That is a good idea. And notes to me, but unbeknownst to you guys, you each get two whole turns to try and deal with each tentacle. Aragis. Oh, dope. Good idea. Thanks. I'm going to unarm strike this thing, uh, but I only rolled a nine, so... Ha! Yeah! To hit? Oh, man. Yep. You do not hit. You, like, punch at this thing, and it, like... It's just, like, nothing. It's like punching a sponge. It's so spongy, guys. <laughs> the real question is, can Jolie do 20 damage in one attack? Jolie, your turn. Uh, okay, and I can't use the cannon, right? That would be next turn. Unless sure you have a way that. to create two actions like tack, no. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Spiritual Weapon. I'm going to, like... Clap my hands, close my eyes for a little bit, and then as I pull my hands apart, there's this kind of like orb, this like fiery looking orb that um, kind of congregates in between my fingers. I'm gonna try and push it out into the by the Kraken um, fucking tentacle. Okay. It's w it's within sixty feet of me, right? Totally. 
you're you're by the cannon, okay. right? So you could do this through the cannon hole. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay. That is my bonus action. Um and then I think I'm just gonna fuck, I mean that's all I'm just gonna use my okay, I'm gonna make a melee spell attack. On Wait, what did you just do? I thought you were like weapon. creating a weapon. Yeah, it's understand. my spiritual weapon that I sent that I sent out. So now I'm gonna make I have to do a ranged melee spell attack against the Kraken to send to it. try and hit it to All right. to hit it. Yep, because it could do damage. Okay, fuck. Spell attack. Oh damn! I got a twelve. Twelve does not hit. No. This is just a normal okay. attack roll. It's not like a saving. Mm mm. Yeah, oh, it's a yeah. normal. It's a ranged spell attack. It is not okay, good. word. Well, it's 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 cast for a minute, so that's it. It's gonna hover by the kraken. Okay. You guys, uh, or at least Togu, you see this, and um, it wraps itself around this mast, um, and you watch as it starts to crack, and eventually it's like as it snaps the mast off, and it's like and pulls this thing off the side, and you just hear, Ooh, as it pulls the, the entire mm -hmm. mast off the boat and into the water. Um, and Darrow, you you look over to the side underneath the boat as you watch that the other uh, cannon hole that was covered, or that originally was open, and now loses light as something is now covering it. And Togu, you watch as this tentacle like slowly makes its way onto the uh, poop deck, and uh, go towards the um, uh, sorry the the bow, the front of the boat, and wrap itself around. Is it? Is it crossing me? Do I get a? Do PCs get attacks of opportunity? Um, it's not that close to you. You're. It came up from the right. I mean, I was. I was. Left. I didn't move away from it on my last turn. I'm right there. It would have to be within five feet from you, and then approach it and then leave. And it came from the, like the left mm -hmm. side, and you're over here. I don't. I don't see how that was close enough to you okay. to be an attack of opportunity. Okay. Okay. Um. Darrow, it is your turn. Sure. Uh, so I'm. I'm up above. Uh, where's the closest tentacle to me at this point? Oh, are you up above now? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I was kind of wondering. My bad. You, 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 and Togu watch as this thing comes up the left side of the boat, the port side of the boat, and make its okay. way towards the the whole raised portion of the boat, uh, the the bow, the front of it, um, where the where the, the the wheel of fortune is, and it like wrapped itself around the whole front raised portion of that boat. Okay, cool. Um, then, so I I want to um, I want to just go ahead and cast um, uh, detect thoughts on it. Can it speak a language? Yes. Okay, so I want to cast detect thoughts on. What the languages Kraken. do you speak? It, it doesn't matter as long as it can speak a language to text thoughts translate it doesn't matter it. you don't have to it translates it for you uh like google me... baby <laughs> straight we're up. gonna look up a rule and i can meantime... read the thoughts of hey. certain creatures blah 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 uh, uh it can speak any language surface thoughts of the creature most uh what is most on its mind in that moment. Um, and so I can attempt to probe deeper into the creature's mind. Is it a saving? Uh, and it has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Okay. What's your spell DC? Uh, it'll be a 15. Okay. Wisdom. You, at, at first, you just feel um, like a hunger in your stomach. And then afterwards, you feel a sadness. Um, and it, it, the feeling you get is, um, like as if all of your family, your tribe has been killed and, and hunted 
for their flesh, for their bodies. Okay. Um, so I, I, I just, I just fucked like Miranda to... up. Like, I just fucked this whole session for Miranda. <laughs> Great! We're being attacked by a sad kraken that, that we sh just needs a hug. Okay, so, so healing. I can I can detect its thoughts. Did it fail the saving throw too? Yeah, that's why you know. Okay, as much as you cool. Do. So so I have a minute of being able to read its thoughts and uh, communicate with it essentially. So I I just like to say, hey hey Kraken, um, what's Kraken? I, I I feel like you're not <laughs> doing super good right now. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Or <laughs> do you want to talk? Yeah, I guess in some way, form, you hear. No. <laughs> <laughs> what Are would you... what would make us? What would make this okay? We don't want you to fuck this ship up, and we want you to just leave us alone, and I'm assuming that I can't pay you any money to make you go away, so... Um, yeah, you just watch as it tightens its hold on the... Okay, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. No, 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 stop no. that. Remember, you failed your wisdom saving throw, so stop, stop it. So, <laughs> Does it mean you convince it of things? I don't know. Well, it, oh, I it, it, it did. It does mean that I can shape the course of its thoughts. So it's particularly effective as part of an interrogation. Shape the course of its thoughts. All right. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so Kraken, Kraken. Uh, What's Kraken? Just if if, mm, if you'd so like fun. to leave us alone, <laughs> is there anything we can maybe do to? to make the stop and, and you can flap once for yes and, and twice for no. Jesus. It just like starts it, That wasn't a yes or no question for the record. Like but, but is there anything we could do to make this stop? Flap once for yes, twice for no. <laughs> I guess um, you just, you feel hungry. Okay, okay, you're hungry. What are you hungry for, Kraken? You guys, I think I'm getting to the Kraken. Are you talking? Wait, where are you on the ship? The fuck are you doing? Okay, He's the only one that could possibly hear Darrow talking to himself at this point is Togu. That is, yeah. How? No, I can't. I'm on the deck. I'm yeah, on the he's deck. also on the deck. He's on the deck too. Oh, oh, you came up. What's up, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to a kraken, dude. Just, just check this out. Oh, cause you're a fish, dude. Okay. Yeah, Wait, well, kind of. I mean, I'm using other different are, magic, oh, but the fish dude thing you're is a cool, fish, too. fish dude. Yeah. So, so Kraken, what what are you hungry for? Kraken friend? He's hungry for bad apples, isn't he? He's hungry for meat. He wants meat. <laughs> uh, you guys, do we have any meat for this Kraken? Togu, do you have any meat? All I see is fish. <laughs> That's me, that's really funny, but I don't think that helps us too much, uh, especially in this situation. So, um, we we need to find meat for the Kraken so it stops doing this or we're gonna have to kill it. Um, I feel like that's a problem, Togu. But there's no meat on this boat. We've looked in the cabin. Was there meat in the cannon room? I didn't, I just saw cannons. I think I think you just answered your question. All right, fine. Well, I guess here we go then. Uh, and I just I just like to bring my uh, uh, disc up above my head, and then that's all I got, other than Ong. Okay. Um, and on your actions, you can continue to influence uh, its thoughts. Um, Tack, you're up. And Togu, you are on deck. Tack, what would you like to do? You look over uh, to the other side and see that the cannon hole is now filled. Uh, no longer light coming in, should I say. Mm-hmm. Um, well. So there's the tentacles obstructing it. Indeed. It's clear to you that that's what's happening. 
Yeah. Would I be able to... Is it close enough to where I could, like, jab my arm out through with my sword? <laughs> it seems realistic. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to... Who's who's on deck after attack? Me. I'm going to shuffle over so you can hear my muscle squeak. And then... You do. Everyone hears a squeak or two. Good, good. Even from down below, they hear me. <laughs> and then uh, I'm right before I grab Sailor's Remorse. I'm going to turn to it and say, Get ready to do what you always wanted. <laughs> and you, you, just, you, you just hear, I'm always ready to dig deep. Everyone hydrate. <laughs> I need more water. And All right, then I, let's uh, do an attack roll is your next yeah. step here. Then I plunge, baby. Plunge. It's like, put me in there <laughs> as far as I can go. <laughs> I got an 18. Nice. Yeah, it hits. You're plunging now. I'm Let's plunging. Damage. Cool. Um, I'm going to use disarming attack as well. Yes. I know I can't disarm it, but it'll add no. damage. You can take some... <laughs> what did we call before? That... Can you detentacle it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will also use Fury of the Small. Um, so I do. Take your time. I do 23 damage. Holy shit. <laughs> you go. 23? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you fucking stab the shit out of it as it goes, as your sword goes in. It's like, yep, 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 yep indeed. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're welcome for that Dimitri Martin reference. And with that, we're going to take a short break. We will see you guys very, very soon. Um, if you don't know, tax sword is uh, sexualized. We will a pervert. see you guys. Yeah, it's a pervert. I see you guys. Ten it fucks. Minutes. It fucks. This sword it's fucks. cursed. It's a cursed sword. Okay, it's not me, but it's my fault. All right, see you in a bit. Punish me.
Hello, and we are back. Uh, we were talking, and it turns out that Austin has something he wants to tell everyone. Uh, well, hello, everybody! Thank you so much for watching our shit! We are super excited, and we love doing this, and if you want to support us in all of the things that we do as we are playing D&D, &D, then you can go to DiceEnvy.com forward slash the Bottle Cap Brigade, pick yourself up some dice, and we're an affiliate, or we're an affiliate of them. I don't know how it works, but it helps us out. Also, subscribe to all of our things. We're on the YouTubes, and you can follow us on Twitch. Uh, which is probably how you're viewing us right now, but who knows? <laughs> I sure don't. Cool beans, follow us on the Instagram and the Facebooks, because Sam works his ass off to get those looking super pretty. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, yes. Well done. That was incredible. That yes. was incredible. With the hat, everything was great. Everything was great. Yep. Oh my god. And, Thank you. And um, <laughs> Thank you for that, Austin. Uh, I would, I'd give you an eight out of ten. Hey, nine, that, nine that was, out of ten for me. Okay, but it's... my eight out of ten was rounding up because it was like a seven point six. <laughs> Thank you. <Wow. laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> oh, my abs for a little bit on that one. Okay, um, Togu. Uh, it seems the scenario is dire to you. You're watching as the ship is being destroyed, the last thing keeping you from falling into the ocean and potentially dying. What would you like to do? Uh, so the tentacle is on the deck and it's ran up to the bow, correct? Yes, the back of the boat, as they say. Oh, the stern. Sorry. Okay. So no, it's gone yes. to the stern. No, okay. It is the bow. We talked about this already. It's the bow. Bow's the front. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it's where the, it's where the the you know the fun stuff yeah, is. Yeah, I got you. Got you. Um, I am gonna get as close to the tentacle as I can. Uh, this is the first round of attacks on this tentacle, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, take out one of the throwing daggers, one of my two throwing daggers I still have left, and I just want to... I don't want to throw it. I want to stab it into the tentacle okay. to leave it there. Okay. So it's normal attack? Um, yes. Uh, I'm going to use Lucky, because that was not great. <laughs> Thank God for Lucky. Thank God for Jesus. Lucky. Oh, I dropped my dice. Oh, my God. I went God. under my bed. He's going to nat 20 now. No, I'm switching dice, so who the hell knows? Fair enough. All right, here we go. Uh, that is a 15. That hits. Cool. Uh, and then damage is a 4. All right. Yeah. But yeah. I want to... But I. I want to make sure that the dagger stays in the tentacle. Okay. Yeah, it does. And you stab into this oh. thing and you watch it tighten a little bit and the ship creaks a little bit as it does. Um, so it moves maybe like two feet to your right. But yeah, it's still in the tentacle. Cool. Um, yeah, and then I want to go over to the edge and, uh, for my like final space of movement. Go over to the edge and look over and see if I can see. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Never mind. I'm just done. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Um, 
Aragis, you are up. Jolie, you're on deck. Um, all right, cool. I want to uh, um, walk over to the other side where the cannon is. Um, and uh, looking around, it's me, Jolie, and Tack down here. Yes. Okay. Um, as I'm walking over, I want to be like, Guys, get down here! Like I want to calling up to the to the poop deck. Like we need every, all the help we can get. And then I walk over to the thing, um, and I want to. And with my action, um, well, I, I want to be like, hey, can 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 anybody help help load this thing? Uh, tax exhausted. That's not my action, but but, talk. but Jolie seems full of energy. Okay. Jolie, are we doing this again? High five. Do it. Okay. If I just start. Um, <laughs> do <Sweet>. it. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, so we're going to load it up and, and shoot it with the other cannon. Okay. So, Jolie, on your turn, you will be down in action. Um, but you can assist him in loading this. I will load so, it. so it's we, a D10 we will... from each of you, plus your dex. Yes. Here we go. Um, that is a, a nine from me. Okay, I did a four. Thirteen. <laughs> She's like, I did a four. <laughs> so. Okay, so you guys are doing thirteen damage? Yeah. I say that um, so that everyone is clear that I can do basic math, even three beers in. And then that's to keep you keep me accountable. Okay, guys? Cool. So you did 13 damage, and you watch, I mean, as this cannon, like, blasts into this tentacle, and it's nasty. It's gross. Cool. Um, the next thing that I want to do as a bonus action... Um, cool. <laughs> I want to uh, I want to run over to it, and I want to use... Uh, using Flurry of Blows, mm. um, I want to, like kick one side of the inside of the of the hole that we just made and then oh. uh kick the other side so it's like it's like using like kick with the toe or, or like the instep and then again with the heel it's like okay. boom, boom yeah so i'm imagining like kung pao where it's like ah, but then it's like yeah psh, right to the neck yeah okay all right cool. <laughs> thank God, you taylor <laughs> thank you taylor every time <laughs> man it's the best one uh <laughs> We trained him as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's do All your right. attack rolls for this. Oh, fuck. That one's a nine. Now it's an eight. Fuck me. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, well. you, you poked the fuck out of its wound, but no success. Yep. Sorry. That's gnarly and gross. You're grossed out. I mean, you're grossed out. You're bothered by what you just did. I'm bothered by what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> As he brings his foot back in, so like, and it's like kind of gross and covered in like blood and like fluids that he doesn't understand. Um, Jolie, it's your turn. You're out in action. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, what, so if I, the only thing I could do is, like, um, movement? You can run around and say things, unless you have some way to do a bonus action, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't have any way to do a bonus action. Alright, um, this sugar's starting to kick in, Erdris, look at us kicking ass, and I kind of run yeah, around you know, Yeah, you know what, you're right, you're right, that's true, that's super true. I feel so good right now, it's been rough lately, but look at us. I feel good for shit. you. Yeah, yeah, we're we're a good team, Jolie. <laughs> That's right. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. I enjoyed it. Sounds good. <laughs> Darrow, your turn. Great. Um, how close is the nearest tentacle? Um, you're on the poop deck. Uh, and the nearest tentacle is on the stern. Yes. Okay. So it's what, like? No, it's the 30... front. It's on the bow. We've been through this. I've okay. been through this, not you. Yeah. How 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 many feet is that though? Hmm. Well, uh, maybe twenty. Okay. 
Cool. Um. Oh, can you make a perception roll and Togu? Yeah. Sure. Uh, 18. I rolled a unnatural 20. You guys both heard Eridris yell like, Come down here, guys! Or whatever it was, but you heard him. Okay, I'd like to do two things. Um, I would like to... Um, first off, is there anything... Can I see or perceive anything, any other living creatures around us other than us and the Kraken? Like birds or fucking lizards or fish there in are, the ocean. You notice two seagulls that have been circling around. Okay, cool. Uh, I would like to um, cast uh, Crown of Madness on the Kraken. Uh, and so it has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I got an 18. Okay, so it passes it, which means that nothing happens. Wait, hang on. Sorry. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, yeah, nothing happens. So it fails. Okay, then I just like to run um, down to try and meet up with Adris. Okay. And then have Ong attack uh, one of its tentacles. Let's do the attack roll for Ong. Two. Uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't even Great. land on it, right? It's like, ah! And it's like, I'm Ong! And falls off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, attack, your turn. You're feeling stressed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, so I'm down underneath still, and is that tentacle still visible in front of me? I mean, I stabbed it yes. pretty good. Yeah, you stabbed the fuck out of it, but it's still right there, yeah. Well, I'm gonna rear back and go round two, baby! Ew. All yeah. Right. What are you doing, yeah, Tento? <laughs> um, stabbing it. Let's do an attack roll. <laughs> 18. You hit. Nice. There's nothing attack doesn't hit with like a plus seven or whatever you have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The perk of being a fighter, I have, I do nothing but hit things. <laughs> <laughs> you do it great though. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Um, actually, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to use disarming attack, too. Use another superiority die. Um, and I do 19 damage. Well. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you stab this thing, and you're, like, grinding it in, like, and it's nasty. Uh, and you pull your weapon out, um, and you just hear, Is there anything else you want to do, Tuck? Um, Otherwise, Togu, you're up. I'm going to... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Togu, you're up. Eridris, you're on deck. Uh, are Eridris and Jolie above deck or below deck? They're right below. Now. It's just you cool. and Darryl I'm gonna... Cool. I'm running below deck. Uh, right when I get to below deck, I'm going to um, give bardic inspiration to all three of them down there uh, by singing a little like little little sea shanty. Let's be like, "Way hey up she rises, let's go!" So, uh, Eridris, Jolie, and <laughs> Tack, you guys each get a d6 to add to a roll. Uh, is Tax sword still in the tentacle, or did he stab and pull back? He pulled out, as they say. Okay. Um, I am going to start setting up the cannonball and ask for help. 
Okay. Um. So you, I mean, yeah, you've got Aegis, Jolie, and Tack to assist you. Um, Tack, uh, they all seem kind of tired, but could exert themselves to assist you. Um, I'm doing some math real fast. I'm, and I have, have I gotten down below deck yet? Was I able to scoot down there with my last movement or not? Is, I don't recall you saying that, but would you like to? Oh yeah, I was trying to because I I cast the spell and with my movement I was trying to run down below deck. I mean, you didn't use any of your movement, I think, so you're totally yeah, below that, deck. Yeah, my intent my intent was to get below deck. Oh, I'm sorry, Darrow is right there and he seems willfully ready to assist you. <laughs> cool, Darrow. Oh, so Darrow followed me too. Darrow, you also get bardic inspiration. That's my last okay. one. If you're cool. if you're there too. Everybody yeah. that's there. I used my action though, so I can't do shit else. No, but, but uh, you can uh, exert yourself, is what we're calling it. Uh, okay. It, it, to take away your next turn's action. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so if you take away your next turn's action with my action, we can fire the cannon. Yes, this is not in the rules of D and D for the record, and never has been. I would cool. happily do that at this point. Let's do that shit. All right, Togu, uh, here we fucking go. Ugh. Hey, you're fish. <laughs> All right, so, yep. Okay, you guys are gonna fire the cannon. So you guys assist uh, each other. Togu's able to like lift this thing up and Daryl walks up with his weirdly uh, strong yet weak fish body. And oh, goes... I forgot my voice changed. Can I, let me try again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more than happy to have it. Oh my god. god it's like it. two voices that you have. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't no. used this voice yet. He has Arms voice. He has <laughs> four. Okay. Is that what a fish person sounds like? That's, a, that's what this fish person sounds like. Great. Uh, it sounds weirdly... Uh, like a weird side story we had recently. So you uh, yeah. are able to light the cannon after he loads it. This is so much different than that child. <laughs> than the old man or woman that you were. Um, stilt skin. Stilt skin. Crample stilt skin? Oh, yeah, yeah no. What did that sound like? That was totally different. <laughs> that I was, was thinking of yeah. the long <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think it was what you just did. I think it was. I just... think. <laughs> fuck you, it's on video. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, you need to roll a 1d10 plus your dex. Uh, so, 8 total. Um, I got an 11. 19. Do I no. add my bardic inspiration to no, that? No, that's 20. Isn't that 19? Yeah, you did it right. Cool. Thank oh, you. Sorry. Wow. I'm really good at math sober, so I'm <laughs> average outside of it. Do I add a bardic inspiration to that or not? If you'd like to. Uh, it's a, I think it's a d20. Well, bardic is to hit, right? It's not damage, so no. I thought on an ability, it's on an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. So okay, yes. so no. Wait, yes. attack. It's not damage, so no. No. Ability, attack, or saving. So no. Yeah, no. It's to land the attack, not the damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Okay, so cool, man. Uh, it, it, says, it says it has to. It says it, like this thing says it goes with a d20. So like the creature can wait until after they roll the d20 before deciding. So. Yep. It wouldn't be any yep. sort of. So you damage. could roll and be like, "Oh, I didn't quite get it," and then add it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not with bardic inspiration. You have to do it before. Word. All right. Well, you guys are doing 19 damage, and so you fire this oh, cannon. No. I lied. You can wait until after you roll to say you use bardic. I know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't affect damage. For the love of God, you guys already hit. It's an assumption that you hit. With the cannons. <laughs> there is no attack roll with the cannons. So technically it just doesn't even. He's got 10 minutes to use Actually, you could add it to your, your dex roll. 
in this scenario. We didn't make a dex roll. We just used you our did. dexterity it's, modifier and added. Well, your dex roll is your d10, so you technically you couldn't add it. You technically no. could add it to damage because the scenario that I've created does not align directly with the rules of D and D. Okay. It's easy I'm, just, I'm still not gonna. I'm gonna hang on to it. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> ta- uh, double D. Does the uh, cannonball go th- completely through the tentacle, or does it stay and lodged in the beast? It it sends direct. It sends it, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say send it. Um. Yeah. You okay. guys do a shit ton of damage to this thing, and it is now Erges' turn. And Jolie, you're after. Um. So, at the beginning of the fight, you said that there are some there are some important things. And does the Kraken have to destroy all three of the things, or just two of the three? Ah, yes. Well, it's fun when it's a secret. But since you asked, it has to destroy three <laughs> things, and you cool. guys have to destroy two things. Neat. All right. Well, in that case, um... one of those things is its spirit. <laughs> no. Um, I want to. Uh, really... <sighs> All right, Jolie, shall we try it again? Fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa, God. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> you must... I've never. Uh... Okay. All right. Um, you yeah, guys cannot roll like shit. That's. Do it. I mean, there's there. There's no other thing. Okay, wait. So for the record, when we roll our d10, we can in fact roll a d6. Yes. Because it's okay. yes. Okay. Okay. One All right. Turn. So I'm rolling a d10, and I'm, and I'm using my Debardic inspiration to roll a d6 too. Cool. You add your dexterity before adding your Bardic inspiration, though. It's all well, addition. It's all so. I guess yeah. it doesn't matter in this scenario, but yes, sure. Pe- Pe- plus, plus, PEMDOS plus. will uh, will help us out here. Seventeen. Okay. I got a. F- uh, I got, you got fifteen 17. total. <laughs> we don't need to talk. <laughs> Joe Lee finished it off without you, bro. I mean, that's. Yay! Yeah. Hey, that's not <laughs> nice. It happened at the same time. Shit. <laughs> you guys did it together. And uh, I want to jump on top we of did the cannon. Like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If Jolie's did the damage, does Erigus still have his bardic inspiration? <laughs> if jo- yes, it's one is- you guys <laughs> both used it. It is not okay. a conversation. It's just you did. It's it's instantaneous. <laughs> All right, so you so guys. So you want to get on the cannon as you fire it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a, like a bucking like horse. <laughs> you guys oh fire. Like we're a humping Hannah. It's a, yeah. For anyone who lives in Idaho. Or, or Roddy's. Good. Dirty little Roddy's, yep. I know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> Gross. You guys fire this thing <laughs> off. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you literally watch as this whole tentacle just gets cleaved in half. And it's like, ksh, ksh, as nice. this whole tentacle falls into water. And you guys just hear this noise. <laughs> I know. I feel. I feel really bad too. But we kind of did a good job. I thought. We kind of did guys, a good job. Guys, guys, it literally what? ripped the mast off of our boat. <laughs> I'm not worried about its feelings anymore. Okay. Well, easy enough. I, I, I look at. Jill <laughs> like, well. Hmm. <laughs> Can I still talk to it? Um, it's not your turn. Yeah. What, what happens okay. now? It will be your turn soon. Um, you guys just hear this, like, it's the same moan, but a little bit more intense, like, and you hear, uh, and feel, and possibly see through this tiny cannon hole. That's like three senses. Yeah. Um, well, uh, at least. And, uh, you watch several tentacles start to come up over the side and wrap around both the back and the front of this boat. 
Um, and you hear the wood like creaking as it's almost like being pulled apart from each side. And Darius, it's your turn, like a fortune cookie, or like a wishbone. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah. Can I still you... um, <laughs> can I still talk to it? You still succeeded <laughs> on your ability to communicate with a okay. deep sea creature that is possibly I... more magnificent, intelligent, and more frightening than you are. Okay, I'd just like to say if if you if you stop right now, I promise I won't try to cast Corona Madness on you again. I really don't want to do this. Yeah, you and just, by yeah. all that, I mean, I'm really sorry that my voice sounds like this <laughs> now, and I keep forgetting to do it. Hey, man, it's your inner thoughts, you know. Yeah, you still but... sound like whatever you sound like in your head, um, or completely different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This, this is my door. baseline. Yeah, <laughs> it only goes up from here. Okay, so you uh, just hear those two spots saying. Hungry. Okay. Um, if I feed those seagulls to you, will you stop? Do we hear this? No. He's okay. doing some sort of weird sorcerer telepathic shit. <laughs> you Basically what you see him is doing this face. <laughs> and that's it. That's all of it. We're like, help, dude! And then sometimes he goes... Good. But for the most part, no, you don't hear anything. Maybe some farts. <laughs> um, Thank God this is a visual interface. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching him like, oh, he's practicing his hero faces. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll work on that. Uh, Daryl, let's, le let's let your dice decide instead of me just RPing it. So um, how about this? Do a persuasion roll, and you can have advantage, and my DC is pretty brutal. Okay, well, first roll was a 16. My persuasion is a plus 7, so that is uh, 23. Mm. My second roll it was an 11, so mm. so 23. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you got. I mean, how inspired are you about uh, with this uh, ability check? Yeah, so yeah. Let's go ahead and add a d6 to it, right? <laughs> All uh, right. So one more, so 24. You got a one out of six. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> you just hear chicken okay all right all right i can do this i can do this um so uh i just like to uh just all, all you need to do you little friend uh is just get your little tentacles off the boat get ready to pick up some chicken from the water okay uh you're gonna really like this uh and then i just like to uh do a, a few things i'd like to um cast magic missile at the how far away are the birds from me oh man i don't know 30 okay yeah it's 120 feet so i want to cast magic missile uh, i get two bolts so there's two birds so I, I'll, I'll kill both of the birds because it are hits they on attack that. rolls or is it saving it magic missile hits no matter what it's um 1d4 plus one to each bird and i can't imagine they have more than like two hp or something yeah i'm gonna say that you kill both the birds okay um so i i want to hit both the birds and then i want to say on oh, sacrifice uh <laughs> And the sea oh ong, <laughs> sea ong, <laughs> go down into the water too. What? Can I say on sac on sacrifice? <laughs> Wait, they're like pelicans, where they like fly into the water and like, grab like all this Chickens. water and the fish, and then they come back up. Well, I mean, the the two birds are gonna die and fall into the water, and then I just want ong to yeah, just kind of nose dive into a kraken's tentacle. <laughs> oh damn! Oh my god! Sacrifice. <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, so uh, you, yeah, what the fuck, Sam? So, 
made me surprised too. I didn't know I was gonna do it. Wait, wait. You rolled a 24. And I made a pretty high DC, which was two less than that. And that's pretty high, I feel like, for a level four fuckhead like yourself. Worked out. I'll make the next DC 107. So here we go. Um, this thing hears you. And uh, it kind of believes that maybe, possibly, the taste of these two small seagulls would be better than all of your souls. And as you sacrifice a third bird into the water, <laughs> you look over the edge, Darrow, to watch as Ong gracefully, magically, and beautifully sacrifices its familiar ass self into the water. And you watch as a tentacle, a smaller tentacle, like wraps around your familiar and pull it underneath the water. And you just hear this motion. It's almost like because of your connection with your familiar, like this crunching sound. As your familiar God. and these two seagulls that were brutally murdered by yours truly is consumed into this giant kraken. And slowly it lets go of the two tentacles that wrap around the stern and the bow. And slowly lets go of the ship entirely. And as you look over the edge, you look down to watch as the dark water becomes a normal, normal blue once again. And you bask in the idea that Ong, dear old Ong, sacrificed him or herself for you and your friends. Dude, did they and they all saw it. They all saw it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm still. I just want to be clear. I played the most sad fucking music just now. Like it, it, it like Sick. hurts the soul. What I just, I'll keep playing it. And it was horrible. And you were never the same after watching your friend cascade. I just like, water I'd like to turn like around to everyone and just be like, "Do you guys fucking see that? Did you fucking see that? That was sick." What, what 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 just happened? I I just fucking wait. Did we fucking see that DM? Oh man. Um. So here's the deal. You can all roll a perception check through your tiny window to see if a bird carrying two other dead seagulls <laughs> rammed itself into the water. <laughs> that twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I nat one it. I got a fourteen. Like no joke, I got one. Eighteen. Jesus. Okay, everybody. Okay, here's the deal. Stop the music. All right. So here's the deal. Why did you tell us to stop the music? Because it's more you're climactic. in control of music. Dynamics. All right, Eridris, Jolie, and Tack. You guys all saw this happen. However, Toku, you <laughs> literally, after your last action, thought I fucking did this. And you're, like, uh, completely convinced that you saved the day and no one else. <laughs> yeah. Like, 100%, it was you. Like, it's not even a like, shadow of a doubt. You did this. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just going to go Goblin, with, I'm just going to... No, Goblin shut, the, shut the fuck up, Darrow. All right, so <laughs> Sorry, wait, deal. no. Goblin Sword <laughs> said, uh, Darrow just spikes Ong and two dead seagulls into the water like a goddamn volleyball. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for the commentary, man. Seriously, like, uh, what the fuck is this session? Every time I say that, every goddamn session, I say, "What is this?" That's session? what makes us so special. Like and subscribe. <gasps> like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, even the DM drinks a lot. Um, here's the deal. Let's go with Tack. You can respond to what just happened, and no one else. Everyone just listens. I nat 20. Austin, are you actually frozen? Are you saying so? <laughs> Did no, you really? He's so really bad. good at you. <laughs> oh, man. So, I'm the only person who saw what happened? Um, no, you just get to respond to what just happened. 
Oh man, I don't have any of my good one-liners ready. <laughs> uh, do you write them down he's beforehand? Like, or... He's like flipping through his notebook, like, oh god damn it. No. 200 pages, like, damn it, never apply! I have him tattooed all over my body. He's like, oh shit, can I, like prison can I just break. quote Christmas Vacation? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the shitter's uh, full. <laughs> the shitter's full. Yeah, Tyler looks down into the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I guess Tag just looks down into the water and sees Ong and two dead seagulls <laughs> fly into the Kraken's mouth. Kind of like stares for a second and like wipes his brow and goes, oh, Thank God. I was tired of watching Darrow talk to that bird like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Um, everyone hears this, I think. I think you're all down there now. I say it out loud. Yeah. Wait. Are you... And I'm are not you in earshot, so... Are you talking about the bird that he can just, like, summon over and over and over again whenever he wants to summon it? Yeah, birds aren't real. I don't know if you knew that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But 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 it's gone though, right? The 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 kraken's gone. It's all. It's not there. Yeah, I mean, I, I yes. <laughs> really lacking this cannon thing. I almost wanted to come back. I want to try. Yeah, hitting. we were doing so good, weren't we, Jolie? We were. But yeah. you know what? I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I just, I just want to like two hand slap the cannon that I shot like. <laughs> Proud of you too. Yeah, good job, team. And and we didn't even have to kill it. It could it could go on. It's it's sad, lonely. You could hear the loneliness. Oh, oh no, 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 no. We killed it. Uh, I mean, one of us definitely killed it. We're good. Yeah, it was He's me. dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Um, Tag's I... gonna go check on Aspel. Oh shit! <laughs> you... God damn it, Austin! <laughs> you walk over. This better be a good frustration, like hands to face, and not a bad frustration, hands to face. Uh, you walk over to the barrel, and oh. to the left side. You see one apple that's fallen out of the barrel. <laughs> Upon further inspection, <laughs> you, <laughs> lift, you lift up the apple and you find a smashed maggot <laughs> underneath the apple. <laughs> Tack, Tack bends down and he starts flipping the maggot over and expecting it and he goes, oh, thank God this one doesn't have the same birthmark as Aspel did. It's Aspel. Oh, this has to do through this barrel of apples. <laughs> you delusion yourself into thinking it's not your buddy, but everyone else knows it is. Oh, we all know what happened? I mean, you just don't believe him for some reason. You see a squished bug on the ground. <laughs> Is that your friend? Damn. No, it's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. <laughs> Tax digging through the barrel of apples. <laughs> yeah. No, Aspel look, baby, I'm coming for you. I'm I'm sure he's, I'm I'm sure Aspel's in there, buddy. Uh Keep keep on digging. Yeah, just I mean, keep. Yeah. There's a lot of apples, and that's a whole barrel full of apples. Exactly. He, that's he, why he I got eat them. Green. All of them. He wanted other apples. He's gonna be a oh, he's gonna be a big old boy. He's gonna be a big old boy when it's all done. The yeah, big old grubby him, boy. Tax if you find him and he's hurt, I could uh, I can cast a spare the dine on him and return him to zero hit points. And then when I finally get my long rest, I can heal him. 
Yeah, are, are, yeah, do yeah, you have any Cast it on. I have Wait, spare the dying. I'd like to cast. I'd like to put my hands on Aspiral and cast Cure Wounds because I still got that shit. There we go. <laughs> spare shit. the dying and Cure Wounds. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, this is this is very uh, ceremonial. <laughs> I'm spared the dying. Please, uh, I uh, form a little golden like uh, leaf. Please place, so just... please place the maggot on the leaf. Aspel on the leaf. Tex scoops him up and places him on the leaf. <laughs> I want to put both hands on him, but I want to like rub my fingers together, like the. <laughs> Like the clear, and try to do it with just my fingertips. Wait. I mend a little. I mend a little pillow so I can like tuck his head on a nice little pillow. Hold and, little, on. and a booty, a worm booty. Is Jolie going to make the maggot stable, and then Togo <laughs> is going to heal the maggot? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. And yeah, so it's name, right. some it's, good karma after its her name is Asphalt. A S S S. He, like apple, but th three S's. Aspel. Ass. Oh. Ass. Like, like it's pulling on an ass, but it has a core. <sighs> All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah! a fan request, man. That was gaming noob. <laughs> we will do anything for Oh my god. god. What Just is... keep drawing us pictures. <laughs> oh my a god. Different one. Asshole. Never mind. It was draw a generator that you made that name. You draw our own pictures. <laughs> they made it. They can oh, make okay. it. They pay right, points right. to make names right, for right. shit. Yeah, he spent bottle Damn. caps. Damn. Good on you, man. You rock. You rock. Okay. Um, ass pull. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. <laughs> that really got you. Oh, man. Well, I just, this scenario is so stupid. And now I'm going to have to deal with this maggot forever. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I, I never At least it doesn't it. talk. Yet. <laughs> um, Alright, it's... Well, okay. Jolie, you finish casting this spell. And um, I don't think there's anything else to this. You just make it become stable. And um, you just watch as this maggot that was crushed. Um, some of its, like, innards kind of, like, connect again. But it still seems kind of squished and, and dead. Um, and Togu, you then take your one finger to this maggot and touch it, and you cast Cure Wounds on it, like, and it's almost like a, a water droplet hitting the water, like, and you just watch as it's, like, almost like someone had breathed into the mouth of this maggot, and you watch it inflate again. Um, and it's like, and it's like alive again, like, and looking around and tack. <laughs> Fuck me. It, it, um, <laughs> it looks, it looks into your eyes and it just goes, did you wake me up, bitch? <laughs> I can't hear it. So that was just air just hearing it. No, um, you hear it. Can I hear staff. bugs? No, you, oh, I guess air just and you. And I I don't know if I hear bugs. Okay, let me I just think be I clear. Only hear... Let me be clear about this. I made cool, a cool, roll cool. that would make it so you had some sort of emotional connection to this maggot, and I really wanted to win, but I failed with a natural one. And now <laughs> this maggot speaks to you, Tack, and it sounds like some sort of deep-voiced asshole. <laughs> I grab like four apples and I throw them in my pack and I gently grab Aspel and I go, here you go, buddy. And I put them into one of the holes and then I cinch my bag up. And you just, you just hear like kind of like muted in your bag. Like, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> chow down, big boy, chow down. Mm. I'll chow that's down precious. on this shit right here. That's some ass I can get behind. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, That's fuck great. me. Um, so <laughs> yeah, um, I'm excited for you to go back and watch this episode to remember what it, everything that happened, so you can relive you can't all the shit see this. twice. 
<laughs> I couldn't believe this. I like literally. I love like, that we just did that. I rolled my dice and I went like. <laughs> um, Sorry, we ruined your entire session. Awesome. You did. You guys didn't even do a third of it. Not even a fucking third of this session. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, discover that you're on a ship and everything's fine once again, and there's no turmoil, and you're just floating in the middle of the ocean. All right, so oh, this is a good time for a long rest because I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. A a am I still a mer person? <laughs> yeah, man. Do you still have the sword? Yeah, well, I just like to say, uh, well, if anyone would like the sword, great. If not, I'm just gonna roll out a cot and take a nap. Would anyone else like to join me? Oh my god, I yeah. would. Whoa. I, I'd like uh, to roll my cot out yeah, and I uh, kind of meditate and start summoning Ong again. Is that another ritual? <laughs> yeah, it's a ritual. Yeah, word. Well, enjoy the next ten to you know sixty minutes of your life, and you'll do that. Uh, um, I don't know. I'll take the is. first watch, guys. I'm not really that tired. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing pretty okay awesome. at the moment. I'm gonna go see if. Uh, I'm gonna go see if there's some way for us to get the ship moving. You want some company? Yeah, of course. Let's go figure this. Is there a bed in the captain's out. quarters? Yeah, a really old. That was bed. a big one. Ooh, a big ooh, bed. I'm running to that yeah. bed, and I jump in the air and land. Oh man! All the dust. Yeah. The gross. It's gross. <laughs> But comfortable, <laughs> like, as opposed to like, you know, being eaten by sharks or sleeping on hardwood floor. It's pretty fucking dope. I cast a thaumaturgy and kind of blow out the dust real quick. <sighs> oh, yeah, still gross, <sighs> less gross though. Yep. Yo ho, yo ho, the pirates laugh for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Um, well, I don't. What tack? What are you doing? Because they're like doing constructive things. The other people are not. Yeah, tack. <laughs> tack is gonna take a rest. He's beat. Mm. Non-constructive. Erigus Togu. <laughs> um, you guys walk onto the poop deck, and you literally see oh. Jolie flying like a flying squirrel into this room, <laughs> and the door is like. She, the door is closed, and she, like, breaks the door. just goes flying into, like, you know, the room. And she just lands on this bed, and it's just, like, gone in seconds. Like, passed out. Um, Damn, she I think she was I was going to say, I think she was pretty tired. Yeah, really, really, really tired. Um, Tack does not leave the cannon. In fact, he uses it as a cradling mechanism for him to fall asleep, hanging like a oh. bat underneath it. <laughs> I passed Tech out as all the blood sleep. rushes to my head. <laughs> Does Tack sleep like that? He's <laughs> just... Mustache. Like a... Just, just hang, <laughs> hanging off of the coat like a sloth. <laughs> he's, a, he's slothing it up right now. Oh. You gotta teach me how to sleep like that. So many great visuals <laughs> Will do. Um, Air just and Togu. Right. Daryl, what are you doing again? I rolled out a bedroll. <laughs> Indeed. It's you're, a sleepover. You're in the captain's quarters, but not nearly as comfortable as Julie. That's fine. All right, Erigis and Togu. You guys walk out. Togu feeling, like, pretty hungry. And Erigis somewhat tired, but, in, but enough to make it through after your little rest. Yeah. Um, the mast is completely snapped off this ship. Um, oh. And Togu, to your memory, I believe it's Togu. Um, there is yeah the anchor. The anchor. Yep. Uh, I want to mention it to Eridus. Uh, I don't think there's any way for us to move unless we get that anchor out. Yeah, that's kind of what anchors do. Um, we should. But uh, without a without a mast, how do we get this thing moving? Um, and a, as I say that, I want to walk up so I can get a really really good view of just the horizon and see if I can tell, like, see how close we are to land, if I can see it, um, or if we're literally in the middle of an ocean. Um, yeah. Let's do a perception roll. Yo. 
Uh, that is a do, 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 do. seventeen. I'm loving it. Okay. Um, in the distance, you do see a speck. I'm gonna say okay. uh, northeast. Uh, Togu, it looks like there's something uh, off to the northeast. Do I see it? Are you asking me? <laughs> I don't know. You don't. Where? I just decided right. for you. <laughs> Save time. It's, right. it's over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'll believe you. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> um dm is there is there any uh, uh well wait yeah is there any place that we have not been yet on the ship i mean we we, we, oh, we, we wow. when we were down in the when we were down in the cannon uh place did we notice any doors they're like oh shit there's a door right there or like have all right God, what a i question. would like I would like to walk around the ship and see if there is a place that we haven't been. Togu, can can uh, I feel like there's more to this ship than two fucking rooms. Um, I think that's a great idea. We should look for more rooms. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're going to look for fucking rooms. <laughs> Not fucking rooms, but looking for some fucking rooms. Sorry, no, rooms. We're, lo- we're looking for rooms it, to fucking. Oh, wait, sorry. It, 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 could, it could be rooms. a fucking room. It could be a fucking room. We don't know. We know there's at least one fucking room in, in, in here, but but only one person. Yeah. Here's a here's why this question frustrates me. Is is you assume okay. that we played D and D that I've constructed the whole world. However, if you were to look at a wall and you said I'd like to investigate this roll a wall, and you rolled a net twenty, I would then make the wall into something else. Do you understand? The scenario well, you put me in. As uh, far I mean, as you're concerned, you have found all of the rooms. Okay. Cannon room was really big. Yeah, I mean, that's a big room. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's my question. It's, that, a big, that's it, like... <laughs> it's a big empty room with just two cannons and, some and a barrel of apples. And fucking, yeah. That's it. Where's the kitchen? The, like you said at the top, there were like like forty people could be on this ship, but there are two rooms. There's a cannon room and a bedroom for the captain. Hospitality. There are thirty nine people that yeah. are like treated like total shit on I this know. thing, and they're dead now. So, <laughs> well, all right. I mean, if that like that that's that's what was like leading me to think that there has to be more. Oh man. Then, so anyway, well, I guess if there's two two rooms on this thing, um. <laughs> um, it's never good enough. It's never fucking good enough. Uh, hmm. Do you think we should just like bring up let's, the anchor? Yeah, let's just go get the anchor up here and see if we just so happen to go in the direction we're hoping to go since we don't have a sail. If we're going the wrong direction, we could always just let the anchor down again. That's true. That's a good point. Maybe maybe we can we can move the rudder back and forth really, really, really fast and like paddle it. I think that's a great idea. Cool. It's right between <laughs> what is uh, 200 for, fuck, I don't know. What is Wheel of Fortune? I was trying to make a joke, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, but um, I it's think I mix Jeopardy and Wheel Keep of Fortune. Easy. We'll just move on um, uh, with our night. Uh, so you guys walk over to that uh, anchor, and it's a chain coming down the port side of the boat and uh thank you taylor i love when you laugh at my attempts to do anything sheep a ship worthy sheep worthy (laughs) ship worthy it works it's a if it's a deke it's a sheep and so you uh approach the edge of that where the chain is hanging down and you just go to grab it and it feels like weirdly light to you Hmm. This is this is weirdly light. <laughs> um. So is it uh? Is this a is this a chain that like we would think to just pull on, or is it like attached to a thing that we crank so we can get the anchor up? Ah, uh, yes, it is attached to a crank. 
However, you just walk over to it to like touch it, and it like moves when you touch it. No, oh, this is like a. So this thing's like a dog chain. Um, I want I want to go over to the to the crank and just like spin it as hard as I can, as if I'm I'm spinning the giant wheel on the Price Is Right. <laughs> Big, like as you scream out, owl. as you scream out, big bucks, no whammy, shoot. Yeah. No, <laughs> big money, big money, and you like just turn this thing, and it, it literally just goes, whoosh, and the chain is just wrapping around, like, whoosh, and you're like looking at it, On like, a step what back. the fuck? And yeah, uh, well, see, I already rolled for this, and so you just see this chain come flying, it just like smack you right in the face. Oh. Um, yeah, you rolled, I rolled a three for you, so you're welcome. Oh, and thanks. it like hits you. We're not gonna do damage, but it's funny. And this chain hits you, and it just like rolls. And clearly, as it's like, <laughs> you look at this chain. Clearly, like bitten. Like this chain has been snapped by some sort of teeth. Togu, what kind of teeth are strong enough to bite through a dog chain? Um. How, how thick is the chain? You said it was light, and I'm just like... Um, no, it's it was, actually a monstrous uh, chain, but it was weirdly okay. light to you because it of It was the weirdly chain. light because it was, it was still pretty heavy. I mean... Because it's a chain. Chains are maybe, heavy. They're... Maybe a Kraken-worthy mouth. Hmm. Well, but Kraken don't have teeth. Ah, yeah, you're misunderstanding like... the scenario. <laughs> this is basically like an... What do you even call? Yeah, I think like I'm imagining this right. Like I, I remember watching like uh, Discovery Channel shit talking about like gel, not jellyfish, but like octopus, and they're actually pretty intense how strong their beaks are. Yeah, and their beaks. Yeah, yeah. Their beaks, they're not teeth. Okay. No, they they they, they have, I said, they have big old. Did I say mouth like or teeth? The, it doesn't matter. This thing Either fucked way. up that chain and could have fucked up the whole bottom of this ship. Have you got failed? Teeth, yeah. Cool. Like. <laughs> It's a it's beak a, then, and it was it, now. It has races. Okay. So these well, are the. Tentacles. I just make sure it wasn't it another beast, man. I don't know. Oh, it and was right definitely the, the center, kraken. Yeah, that's where okay, all the teeth are, and it has little like. Ew. Oh, I don't many. like that at all. Yeah. Okay. This is this is this is what. No, it, what I don't. It, no, stop. It stop. was like, ooh, is that a is that a chain? <laughs> anyway, twenty four inches um, is how low I'd hit it. Hey. It ate the anchor. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> That's what it said, too. <laughs> Togu, um, the anchor hasn't been down this whole time. Um, we haven't been moving. Oh, God, this is going to be complicated. We need a sail, or we need some way to make a sail. I think you're right. <sighs> Have we Let's... looked all around the boat, and I mean, I didn't see anything. Mi- do, to the best we, of my could, knowledge, we've been through. We've been in all the rooms that are in the boat. <laughs> could you think we could use any of the bedding from the captain's quarters to make? Yeah, but I want to let Jolie sleep. Plus, sail? that's a that's a tiny little blanket. I don't think. I mean, we need a big ass sail. This thing, this thing could hold probably about forty people if it was crewed completely. Should we just go or, and try? Or at least thirty nine and a captain. Thirty nine and a dick captain that doesn't. <laughs> Provide sleeping yeah. quarters for the rest of his crew. Fuck those guys. And yeah. and I and I am purposefully gendering this captain because only a dude would be that much of an asshole. I think you're right. <laughs> I think he's a real dick. Yeah, the last captain yeah. was a girl, but it's fine. Well, she had very masculine qualities. Wow. <laughs> um, let's just, just let's just go goof around with the with the wheelie. And, and and maybe oh. maybe we'll we'll notice something to like just you know if we just go back and forth like that it would like okay you Dude. guys go back and forth with the wheel of fortune uh, steering wheel and, and doing the game show yeah surprisingly you only got the skull once out of the six thousand times that you <laughs> spun it and air just you're tired you're tired cool. Oh man, I'm tired. Did we move? <laughs> I don't think we moved. Hmm. It felt like we were moving, but I guess we were just kind of like we're just 
completely the boat un shake its ass. unconnected to the rudder of this boat. I mean, doing nothing. It's broken. Wait, wait, what? The what's the connected to the leg bone? <laughs> uh, yeah, the boat is. Uh, it seems to be somewhat broken. The uh, the steering wheel, if we call it that, um, was not affecting the direction of this boat. That became clear to you through your two hours of spinning it. Oh man! Oh, this, these two hours of spinning it have been such shit. Um, you know, Togu. There's one thing that I thought has been really weird this whole time. Um, Just one thing? Yeah. Do you know that candle that was lit in the captain's quarters? Yeah. That, that looks like it had been burning for a long time? Who would yeah. just leave a candle burning? Let's go look at it. Okay. Yeah, I want to get in there and I want to I want to investigate that candle. Okay. Following. Would you like to investigate the candle? Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, it's a candle. I, I I mean, realistically, I'd probably want to arcana check it. You do whatever the fuck you want, dog. You tell me. I want to arcana check it. It seems so uh, freaking out of place. I'm going to check on it with uh, Artificer's Lore as well. What I kind of check is that? What does that mean? Yeah. Intelli it's uh, I get if on intelligence checks, I get two times my proficiency bonus. Yeah, word, which would be an arcana in this scenario. Um, okay, well, in that case, I'm going to investigate it. <laughs> okay, you investigate and Togu arcana checks. God, that was such like good. an early thing I did. So stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I got a 16. I got a 15. All right. That's with all your all your boost to this scenario? 15? Mm-hmm. Um, Aragis seems yep. pretty, uh, like, physically pretty fucking weird. Yeah. Is it still burning? Yeah. And, like, almost it all the wax is, like, melted over this desk. Can I? I'm gonna try and use my finger now and just scrape at the wax. Okay. And then I want to smell it. Oh wow! Yeah, it smells like cheap wax. Yeah. Like maybe like, like a hint of vanilla wax. and. Dale's like, forgetting. No, I was gonna say like <laughs> Fight Club. Oh, that kind of candle. It's like Fight Club. Yeah. Like it's like Love nice soap made out uh -huh. of like human fat. Yeah. Oh, you froze. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't smell like that great of a candle. I mean, I'm I'm a little concerned. If it, I mean, it could be a fire hazard if it complete if it completely burns through all the stuff because it would like the, it would like I've I'm gonna be honest with you, Toku. I've left some candles burning for longer than I was supposed to, and uh, it puts little circles on your dresser, little fire circles. True. Um, okay. So. I guess. Still, this is so fucking weird. I'm like, uh All right, Togu. Well, hey. Also, also, we should probably be a little quiet. I think Jolie's asleep next to us oh, yeah, right yeah, here yeah, in the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I'm snoring like, so fucking loud. Actually, if she's asleep, maybe we should. Maybe I should blow it out so she can uh, get some sleep. I don't know, man. We've encountered some weird fucking shit. If we blow out that candle and that goddamn witch lady in the fireplace shows up, I'm gonna be. Fucking pissed, man. Oh, no. um, I tell you what, as long as I'm not as long as I'm not falling again, I think I'm okay. Let's let's okay, just let's just back away. We're just gonna back away from the candle. Get you get in that corner over there. I'll get in this corner over here. Don't worry, I got it. Are, are oh. you ready? I mean, why don't you just let me blow it out? Because you're too close to it, man. It's gonna hurt you. Okay. I wanna go back to the <laughs> other corner. All right, so I'm in the corner and I'm like, elemental attunement. And I want to blow out the candle using elemental attunement. Okay. Um, Jolie. Oh, fuck. You feel this like wind enter the room. 
And it like oh, are they fairies? Me. It just it, well okay, Air just no. to you they're always fairies. All right, every time you cast Hell yeah. a spell, you see like these weird uh, air elemental fairies enter the room, and it's confusing. Oh, to sprites, you. Uh, sprites, and Jolie, uh, it disturbs you just enough, like your um, like your eyebrows and your eyelashes are just dishuffled enough. That it like disturbs you and you like wake up and you're like what the fuck and you look over at Erdrus and you just see like his thing of like trying to cast this ah! uh, this wind spell and you're like what the fuck like you were like just about to fall asleep like you're like oh my god so close to casting it's, it's out. been like two hours we've been we're, we've been fucking around with the rudder <laughs> and um this candle goes out and you look up. To look at Aragis, and you're, you're like sincerely frustrated. I mean, like there is frustration, and then there is being woken up from not sleeping for 24 hours by the same stupid asshole. And for a minute, you're mad. And as this candle burns to nothing, and the smoke rises from its wick, everything around you slowly fades to black you feel like you're in this bubble almost surrounded by the water and this is Toku, Erdris, and Jolie anyone who witnessed this happening and as this bubble around you you're it's almost like you're descending slowly as if you're falling through this boat Around you, you see these magnificent sights, things you've never seen before, giant whales, animals and, and things that live in the sea. Sea life abounds, these huge squids, whole schools of fish passing by you. And it's pure magic, things that you've never even imagined or seen before. And slowly this bubble lands on the bottom of the seafloor. Dust sprays from the ground up into the air, undisturbed seafloor. And before you, you see some sort of entrance, some sort of doorway to an underground ancient temple. And with that, we're going to end the session. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's all three of us in a bubble? It's three of yeah. you in a bubble. Uh, we will it's see fucking you guys sweet. very Bunch soon. Bob, Patrick, and Sandy. It's guys. fucking Sandy as shit, man. This is the most definitely... Sandy ending. I yeah. am Patrick as hell. <laughs> I don't know who, who's Sandy uh, yeah, I, between I Jolie and... And Weasel Togu. I oh, use Sandy shit. as kind of like a character reference for Jolie. Like, <laughs> Sandy knows karate, though. Well, so does SpongeBob. Mm. Wow. Togu, do you want to be Patrick? Let's let's figure this out now. This is important. Because <laughs> I feel like Eridris... Because well, Sandy and SpongeBob both know karate. They practice it and they fight each other. They spar quite a bit. Um, for sure. And... Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but at the same, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Eric just kind of has a dumb positivity in the same way that SpongeBob does, but Patrick kind of does too. He's just kind of a dummy. A conundrum, um, really. And, and I don't want to like, you know, endow you as Patrick because in a way that could also be kind of an insult, you know, because yeah. Patrick's kind of, they're both kind of dumb, but Patrick has a real like dumbness about him. Um, <laughs> But I feel like it's a missed op- I mean, and Jolie is SpongeBob as fuck! SpongeBob as <laughs> fuck! Like, you know, but also, you know, oh man, it, do you see why this is hard? This is so difficult! And that's why we're gonna end this session and let you guys vote. <laughs> Go to any of the things yeah, that we have and vote decide. On YouTube. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Between Erigus, Togu, and Jolie, who is Patrick, Spongebob, and Sandy. And I am Jesus. excited to see the votes that come in and oh. the comments. And we will use that information because I will remember because I'll be sober. We will see you guys <laughs> next week, Thursday <laughs> at 7, 7.45 Mountain Standard Time. See you then!